when I want to be close to you, I lift my hands in praise. Praise is who I am. I will praise him while I can. I lift my hands in praise. I vow to praise you through the good and the bad. I'll praise you whether happy or sad. I'll praise you in all that I go through. Because praise is what I do, for I owe it all to you. Yes, Lord. Praise is what I do, when I want to be close to you, I lift my hand. just want to give you praise in the mighty name of in the jesus mighty christ name of, of jesus christ of nazareth good morning family we just want to bless it you. is so good to be here this morning with you and we just want to honor you on this yes, rainy lord. morning in jamaica <laughs> <laughs> we are happy amen that we were spared amen from ian we just want you to see I'm glad you give it a name, you know. No, they, that's the name they give it. Yeah. That, that's why I said I'm glad they give it a name. Because the Bible said once it have the name, once it have a name, it has to be subjected. Yes. By itself, it is a storm. It can't be subjected. But once it have a name, then we can turn to the storm and say, Ian, in the name of <laughs> Jesus. I will for prayer middle year. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, no, I'm not taking any credit. No, 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 no. But I'm following biblical principle. Well, Ian, wait. We couldn't help it. We, we Ian, couldn't manage wait. it. No, I don't Amen. think I don't think our economy We could we, have, we could manage it. We could Praise manage. the Lord. We, we had a power cut recently in the night for a couple of uh, Second. uh couple of seconds. That's all we could and say. And people <laughs> <laughs> the Praise mosquitoes. The Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And Amen. the heat. And we were like, Oh dear God. No, Amen. no, Amen. no, no, no. Certain things we no, can't can manage. you imagine we had a hurricane uh, cause I remember going through Hurricane Gilbert as yes. a young girl. So we're talking about it this morning and before we go any further yes. we're going to ask you to pray all right heavenly father we come to you we right come now to you right in now in the name, name of jesus, jesus christ of nazareth, of nazareth. Yes, Lord. we come to you god with a heart of thanksgiving yes we come to you almighty god with a heart of praise yes Lord. despite what is happening around us despite you're still what god is going what we're going through you are still god yes and we give you the praise we vow to praise in you the mighty this name of jesus we vow of to nazareth. praise you heavenly father in yes. the good and the bad 
in good times and bad times. Yes, you're still God. You're still God. In the and name we of want Jesus. Our praise yes, to continuously Lord. go up to you, Father. Yes. And so, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. we want to dedicate this platform to you this morning. In the and everyone name that is on Jesus this platform, yes, mighty Lord. God, we give you, we Lord, we place every one of us before you this yes. morning. And we pray, Almighty God, that you'll give us receptive hearts yes, to Lord. receive of you this in morning. The in the mighty name of, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, of, Christ Nazareth. of Nazareth. Let your divine will be done in our lives, O oh God, yes. as we continue to give you praise, honor, and glory. In, in the, the precious name, name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. Yes. This is the song that we wake up with this Singing morning. Singing this morning. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise is what, is I, what do. I do. Amen. 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 And the reason why we praise him we vow to him? praise no, him. No, 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 not because I, I no, no, no. praise him no, no, because no, no, I no. love him. Be Why do you praise him? I praise him because I love him, and it is my duty to Find praise Ecclesiastic him. Find Ecclesiastic twelve. That's why. That's why I praise him because I. That's love why you him. praise him. Because I love him, <laughs> and I want to have a relationship praise with him. Praise the Lord. And I was created to praise him. No, you lick the nail upon the head. Yes, praise was, the Lord. I Listen carefully. You can't vote to praise God if you don't understand why you were created. Yes. That is the Ecclesiastic. thing. Ecclesiastics. You know, we were created. Ecclesiastic. The book of Ecclesiastic. Yeah, I'm coming. This thing have commercial and it's so No, it's just open it back and use this. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm going to Yeah. So the book of Ecclesiastic. Ecclesiastic. You can't do something if you don't know what is required of you. Yeah. Amen. And that is the yes. thing. We, when you know what is required, then you can do it. Mm -hmm. You're in a relationship and you don't know what is required from the next individual. Ecclesiastic. Ecclesiastic 12, mm -hmm. verse 12. Mm -hmm. Reading from the 12th verse. And it's a further by these, my son. Yes. Be admonished of making many books. Yes. There is no end and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Yes. Let us hear the conclusion of verse 13. Now. Yes, ma'am. The whole matter. So what he's actually saying up there, he said, listen to me. You see all of your life story where you got you? Left it in our testimony. That's what it means. <laughs> Write books. Left it in our testimony. The Bible itself, a lot of people don't understand. I think it's let me understand fully. The Bible, when they say this Bible is a, is a book given by God, the Bible is testimony of people's life. Yes. Of what they went through. The disciples, the, what exactly. they went through, yes. Yes, so yes. when you look at the Bible and say, "Oh, the Bible was inspired by yes, it was yes. inspired by biblical, by people lifestyle, people Including testimony." Including Jesus exactly. Christ and himself. When me look at it from that angle, I said, "Okay, so I have a problem and um, accepting it then, because mm -hmm. it is actually people testimony that mm -hmm. went through Abraham testimony, Moses testimony, the Jacob, children of exactly. Yes. So the Adam and Eve. Exactly. <laughs> the book is a testimonial book. Experiences of people who had went on before. Mm -hmm. And they, their life was actually in a testimony. Yes. Amen. So that is what Solomon is saying right now. Everything that I have went through, I have left in a book. And now I come to the conclusion. What he said. Verse 30 said, let us be, let us hear the conclusion. Yes, man. After me went matter. through all of my testimony and everything. Fear God. Yes, man. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Amen. So the old duty was for us to. In other words, God said, man, say, listen to me. Me have money, me have pen, so, me have this, me have that, me have that. And when you went by along, everything, nothing no count. So except the fact. One, 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 yeah, one, you're sure. Not let just one scripture, actually yes. the whole book. Let me show you. Uh, the whole well. book. Yes, man, I praise. <laughs> yes. And this one is Isaiah 25, verse 1. And yes. it said, O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. By like spearing us from Ian. <laughs> Amen. Like I don't know about you, but we heard Jai this morning. Of our faithfulness. Amen. Amen. And <laughs> Hallelujah. And he said, and it says Psalm 105 and verse 6. And yes. he said, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise he the Lord. Hallelujah. For you have breath. Listen to him. me. For you have life. That's what the Bible praise says. Praise him. Yes, man. Despite listen, what happened. It doesn't right really now, matter what happened five seconds ago. 
it Crazy. doesn't really matter what happened five seconds ago. Five seconds ago, you were the worst of sinner. It doesn't yes, really matter. Doesn't really as matter. long as you decide to say, listen to me, I'm in your presence right yes. now. Listen to me. Listen, a lot of person don't understand. I have come to the realization. It doesn't really matter what happened two seconds ago, yes. three seconds ago. Yes. As long as you come before God, mm -hmm. our past, our circumstances can never mm -hmm. stop him from being God. So what we need to do is understand this. Listen carefully, understand mm -hmm. this. When you come before God, as long as you give him everything, nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing Amen. matters. Listen to me. Nothing, nothing matters. matters. And that is why he said, weeping endure for a night. Yeah. But joy cometh in but the morning. But as soon as you come before me, a joy come. And in Psalms Amen. 28 verse 7, it said, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song, I will praise him. Why did David write so much songs of praise? Because at the time, he was going through a lot being persecuted One. by Saul. And I think David felt like an outcast. Two. And he was seeking um, 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 comfort in Christ. Yes, so he, he was seeking okay, comfort two. in Christ. Two. Uh, to be three. Okay, three. You yes. said two. Me said three. Uh, you give me, the, you give me okay. the fourth one. Okay. No, me. Okay, I'll give you the fourth one. Yeah. First thing you need to understand, praise is a key. Ah, you're right. Praise listen to me. The it, praise is, the is a key. It is a key. Is yes. a, listen to me. The Bible said in the book of um, Matthew chapter 16, verse yeah. 19, I will give unto you the keys, meaning that they are more one way. Mm. You can pray yourself out. You can sing yourself out. Praise the Lord. You can live yourself out. Praise the Lord. You can pray yourself out, fast yourself out, because Which these are true. keys. Because, you know, but depending things, on the situation that you're, you're in. in. And <laughs> the mindset that you're in. Because exactly. there are times when you find yourself in a position where you can't even open your mouth. You remember you those days? When the yes. PM kid up. Mm. Yes, and <laughs> Lord, it's like God and I, I found myself. It, it's so heavy. It's so heavy that they can't even pray. And the sad part about it, you found yourself in a position yes. where if you're not careful, your heart becomes bitter. Yes. Towards God, and 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 is that at that moment you recognize how persons lose their faith and become atheists and become kids because you're saying, God, you say you love me. And why am I suffering is. like this? You the, say you love me. Yeah. Why do you allow these things to, to befall me? And the reason why these things happen is because people do not understand the principle of God. Mm -hmm. The principle of God is very simple. Just like when you read your child. Yeah. All right? From the child reach the age of consent according to the law. Oh, yeah. Even though the child is 16, you know, and living under a roof and decides that they want to have a boyfriend and have sex. You can't tap them, you know? No. You can't even put your hand upon them. No, the worst part of it is when the child gets pregnant and the law is saying that they can't work until when they're 18. <laughs> but yet still the law allow them to make baby. Yeah. And now you know we can't touch them if you correct them if you go mind grandchildren. <laughs> now that at <laughs> listen carefully. <laughs> now the reason why I came down this road is because I want people to understand while the child reached the age of consent, then it now means that they are out of parental jurisdiction. Uh, listen, listen. Uh -huh. listen. They are out of the parental jurisdiction because they are now considered as adult. But you have no this is them. the same thing. Listen the same thing. This is the same thing when it comes to Almighty God. When we decide to do our own thing. Almighty God can't stop us. And the, the thing is, you know, but what he does, he guides us through his words. And it and the words are always it there. It is there. The but words at the end are of the always day, there. And you know the funny thing about it though, you know. Yes. Despite the fact that just a second. We're gonna take some time to greet everyone on board. Okay. Family, greetings. Hallelujah. We're not going to call any name though because we don't want good to Good morning. Good, good morning, 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 good everyone. morning, everyone. Everyone, welcome, good welcome morning. Again. Praise the Lord. You're on live. On TikTok yes. and on Facebook. Once you're guys, hearing us, we you. welcome you. Amen. We yes. welcome you. And the reason why we welcome you, let me carefully, the reason why we welcome you is because you could have been somewhere else. Yeah, but you chose to but be you here. But you chose to be here. And for that, we 
respect that yeah. we love you praise the lord and we want you to know that we are a family a family yeah. that stay together pray together a family that pray together stay together. together and the whole aim of this platform or this platform is to teach each other how to yeah, defend yourself how to pray yeah. more effectively and to, uh, yes and how in the realm of the spirit to forge a relationship with almighty god yes. how to maintain your relationship with almighty god because you see the thing is you know he calls us as the songwriter said he calls us friends yes but friends commune with each other friend don't just come short because i want something friends commune with each other and one of the things i've learned is that you don't have to be in a formal setting to praise him wherever you are yes you can praise him why because he's he, 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 because he's such a, a, a flexible God. He, I would, I would, <laughs> That's what I, you say? I, 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 I okay. would see. You, you use the word flexible. The thing <laughs> is, I, because if, so, if, if, I'm, if I'm a friend to somebody. Yes. Right? As much, all of us are royalty. Yes. Because he said you're a royal priesthood. Yes. That means so our, 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 our lineage is royalty. Yes. And if, I'm sure, if you look on the earthly kings and queens, when 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 their children is going into them i am sure they don't have to make a make an appointment and say oh i need to make an appointment to see my mother tomorrow no or i need to make an appointment to see my father no you're coming at the presence you're coming boldly to the throne because when jesus christ of nazareth died he tore down the veil and he gave us now all of us now that opportunity that we can come on a on our own to him okay well with all that you said is correct and all that you said i support however i'm gonna ask you to read first corinthian chapter 3 6 right. praise the lord right. in first corinthian 3 6 this is the reason why listen carefully praise the lord first corinthian 3 6 amen first corinthians 3 6. hallelujah first corinthians 3 and verse 6 yes and he said, I have planted. No, no, no. First Corinthians 3. No, no, that may look verse 16, sorry. Oh, verse 16, okay. sorry. Okay. Verse 16, sorry. Sorry, 16. Know ye not yes. that ye are the temple of God yes. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So the reason why, listen carefully, we are automatically the, not just a temple of the living God. But we are, we are also al the altar, the sacrifice yes. of Almighty and God. And that is why I'm saying to you yes. that we have, that it is our royal. So we are not it just, listen, 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 listen how unique this is. You listen how unique this is. We are not just the temple because God lives inside. We are also the cherubim because yes. the presence of the Lord gives us the power of the cherubim. Yes. We are now the sacrifice. Yes. That's why our life you is now a living sacrifice no sin, of the living God. That's why you know for Richard every year. <laughs> I don't have to go there. Because <laughs> if you cannot sweat so far earth, can you imagine if you're it outside? <laughs> no, no. That was meant to be a little fun. So what happened now is very simple. We are the temple of the living God because God lives inside us, mm -hmm. and we are now the sacrifice. So the cherubim that we used to saw, that we used to see, where yeah. Moses was carrying, we are now that cherubim because yes. after we received Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you mean the ark of the, the covenant. ark of the covenant. Ark so the our covenant. body is yes. not just the temple of the living God, but we are now the ark of the covenant. Yeah. And so because we, the Lord now lives inside exactly. of us. Exactly. And so as temple of the living God, you know, say so each temple of a priest. Yes. So God now turn you into your own priest. Yes. You see how sick, how unique this, yes. this God is? So when him come back, you know, we no have no excuse have no because excuse. we never have a church, but you are the church. You we never have church. a pastor, but you are the pastor. So you listen to me, we not, have no excuse when he come back. What the Lord is saying to us is that each of us have the responsibility of our own soul. Of our own souls. And what you do with it exactly you will have to answer it to him as to why you did not do this or do that and now, why did you do this now for those of you that are joining on tiktok 
Amen. Good morning, everyone. I want you to understand because the family on Facebook would have understood already. But for those of you on TikTok who are just coming in, we want you to understand that on this platform, we empower individual how to be their own priest. One of the things that I don't like is when they say, my pastor say, okay, fine. What do your pastor say? I can understand. But what did God say? What, what are you yeah. saying? Okay. My pastor says this. Yes. But, but what did does you God go say? and confirm to God what exactly. your pastor exactly. says? Because it's the thing is, you know, what we need to understand. Yes, the pastor is there as the leader, but we also but have he can a responsibility. No, the pastor can only lead you if you go to the temple. To the temple. Get, so I know every day that the temple. Yeah, but the long and short of it is, even though your pastor may speak into your life, mm -hmm. you have the road there. We have the... Oh, no, no, no. Listen to me. Not today, JPS. Not today, please, not today. I beg you, I beg you. No, but I command you. No, if you want to go, go in week service. When done. the service finished, <laughs> in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we're giving God glory right, right now. Yes, man, you have the thing, you have the yes. thing shaking. But we speak to the wind of the we air right speak, now. Yes. In the atmosphere right Stabilize now. In the name of Jesus Christ finish. of Nazareth. When we conversation on when we when we, 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 we family union done, you can you, you can, can do what you want. Do what you want. But for now, we command you, powerless and yes. to be still. In the name so that of glory Jesus Christ be gone to Nazareth. God. Praise yes, the Lord. As we were saying, yes. as a, a family, yes. or, or, or how the Lord, even though your pastor is, your, the, he leads the congregation. We, that you choose to be a part of. That you choose to be a part of. Yes. You have a responsibility for your own soul. Because you can't go to God and say it was your pastor who never do this and your pastor never tell me this. You have a responsibility to forge your own relationship. And that is why when people are talking about my father, um, me, 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 me birth, what? When they call him, did they, what they call him now? Me, 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 me birth father, what the, what the word? Some of them, they my spiritual point. father, yes, my yeah. spiritual mother, and my spiritual... These are garbage, you know. It's these, garbage. these titles are garbage, you know. Because Jesus of Nazareth himself said while he was here on earth, call no man on earth your spiritual father. That's exactly. what he said. Call no man on earth your spiritual father, except he who is in heaven. Yes. All right. Because the only spiritual daddy we have is Almighty God. And that's why we're in so much mess in the Exactly. We have no spiritual and the father. spiritual mother we have is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our spiritual brother is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I don't understand where the spiritual thing has come from. But all them simple saying to you that. Almighty God, our daddy, is who covers us. Yes. We are covered by him. We're, We're not, not covered, covered by, by a man. church. We're not covered by a church, by a bishop or, or We're or, a part of a congregation. Yes. And the congregation is the church. Gathering. The church of the living God. We are part of a gathering. And this church have no name. It exactly. is called the body of Jesus Christ yes, of, of Nazareth. Nazareth. That is the only title you yes. have, you know. The body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So the now that church. we clear that up Amen. now. So what I want people to understand is very simple. For those of you who are on TikTok, listen carefully. Many of us are going through some stuff right now. And yeah. we are wondering, why is God not getting involved? Mm -hmm. Isn't he a loving God? Well, the truth of the matter is, let us be realistic. He can't get involved. And also... Also, one of the things that we need to understand too is that sometimes when you're not seeing any breakthroughs in your prayers because maybe you're not praying correctly. Exactly. So the reason why I said that he can't get involved is because of the fact that, listen carefully, just like when you have your own children and they move out, you can't tell them how to live for them life. Yeah, you, know? you can't even go, they go run them house. Yeah. Because the first thing you must say, Mommy, make suggestions. you can only make suggestions. Yeah. So this is the same principle that yeah. applies to the word because of God. God is governed by rules. Exactly. Well. Now, what we need to understand in the book of Genesis chapter um, 1, verse 26, God said, I give you the authority to fix your house. Put your thing in order. Mm -hmm. He makes suggestions. Yes. And he said, okay, I give you the authority to do this. Yes. And no. I, yeah. Listen, let me finish. Yeah. So when he said that no, he said, listen to me. Okay, I take a stance. Why? Because I expect you to fix it. Mm -hmm. Put your house in order. Yes. Now, what you need to understand, if you're living in your parents' house and they are doing some stuff and you don't believe the way they might do is correct, you nobody argue with them, you know? You go start your own house, and when you start your own, you do your own rules yeah, and regulations. So that's what yeah. God did. 
God cannot get involved because He gave us I um the the, the, the guideline yes, yes to run our run, this is yes. called free will. free will. So when we make our own mistake or when we make our own poor choices, then He cannot get involved until we invite Him in. Yeah. Just like a lawyer, an individual do something wrong and reach to the court of law. The Bible, listen to me, you can't get the, the lawyer and you know, just come take up your case. You, know? no. you have to sell it the lawyer first. That is the same principle with the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Spirit is a lawyer. And mm -hmm. now you go before the lawyer and say, listen to me, I need you to take up this case for me. Mm -hmm. And then the, the only time, this is the only time God can take up the case. When him is invited yes. and you jamaican talk where no bone is provided <laughs> no, dog, <laughs> no is dog is invited well the same thing applies you see we need to understand principle so i am suffering and god is not getting involved he can't because you did not invite him in exactly and that is why revelation 3 verse 20 said behold i stand at the door and waiting on you now to let me in why yes. because i'm a god of principle and also one of the practices that I am learning to do now is whatever situation may I go through, may go find the scriptures and that speak to it. Exactly. And may go to God with it. I may say, God, your word says X, Y, and Z. So why is this happening to me? Your See word ya? says. I like you did that. This, that, 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 that. I saw me to Yes. Here. Lord, <laughs> if I'm depressed, I said, Lord, your word said. You give in Isaiah 61, he said, You give me the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of despair. So, God, every spirit of depression and oppression, I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And it's the same thing when it, as it comes on to, to sickness. You speak to the infirmity. You said, The Lord said, He was bruised from my iniquity. He said, The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And He said, By His stripes I am healed. So whatever the situation you go through, you go and you look for those scriptures. Yes. And you tell the Lord because he said, heaven and earth will pass away, but Before my words, of his word passed away will not return unto me void. Amen. And that's why whatever I'm going through, may go for the scriptures and I may find it. He said, the Lord, he said the righteous is blessed. Yes. And his seed will not beg for bread. He said, Lord, you said we must be blessed. You said we, as our soul prospered, we must prosper and be in good health. I feel heard me. I tell him back in. You know? Yes. And such is why we're saying, if it's a case so you want to praise him, you're going to the Psalms and you start real out the praise them to him and love him up. Yes. You understand? So me? what we need to do is very simple. What we need to do is very. <laughs> so we're, this is Pastor. This is Pastor um, Charles. Yes. Uh, he said he's here. He's Good here. morning to you, Reverend Pastor Bishop Charles. Yes. Amen. Good morning Good to morning you, man to of you. God. Yeah. yeah. That is that is yes. our Bishop. All Praise right. the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, so what I'm saying to yes. you this morning, I, well, I'm, I'm encouraging you this morning. That do not be despair. Once you know your spiritual Once right. Once you know your spiritual right. That's all you need right. to do. You know, know your spiritual right. That's yes. all you need. Principle is what God yes, go by. God, God is a God of order. Yes. That is where government comes yes. from. You know, And that is why we always hear the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I know what I love about him. You know what yes. I love about him. Because there are times when you are so weak to the point where you, you can't help yourself. And as an army, as we are all in the army of Almighty No God, soldier left behind. No soldier is left behind. Yes. And if there is one soldier that is limping, you know what he will do? He will go over to somebody, our brother Sim. So for instance, we'll go to brother Sim. Let us go to biblical Simit. principle. Let us Sister go to Simit biblical principle. In a little situation, you, Amen. Know, you need to lift him up in prayer. But you know, there are times yes. the Lord will reveal the situation for, to you. But it's not for you to go and yap, 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 yap. But it's for what you is to yap, yap, yap? meaning talk, okay. gossip about okay. it. But what he does, he reveals to you the situation so you can zero in. Pound the demon or the devil that is afflicting 
sister, brother Smith or sister Smith and say, listen, deal with this spirit right now because this spirit is causing or creating havoc Amen. in this person's life. So the Lord will allow us to be our brother's keepers. And this is in line with biblical exactly. scripture. Exactly. This is in line with biblical scripture. Read. Where? Galatians chapter 6, 1. Okay. Galatians 6, 1. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken Brethren, fault, listen carefully. Brethren, if a soldier of the army of the living God be overtaken Ah, good fault, God Almighty. He which are spiritual. He who are armored. Restore with the word of truth in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Why? Because all of us are fallible. Yes. And so therefore, when your brother and sister are going through anything, yes. do not believe that do it can't happen to you. Yes. Verse 2 said, Bear ye one another's burdens. Why? And, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Let us understand biblical principle. Everything where God got through while he was on earth. I call him God, you know, because that's who he was. Jesus of Nazareth is God. And let me tell you something. Everything that he went through, why would he go through it? Listen carefully. The God that we know, the God that we love, the God that we come to understand, listen carefully, mm -hmm. he will never ask us to do something where he never do it. Exactly. If he asks us to do something and he never do it, he's a hypocrite. Yes, yes. And that is why he take on the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Because he's asking us to do something. Yes. And because he's asking us to do something, he said, okay, let me show you how it is done by example. Because he's lead by the example. By example. Because he was of the flesh. Exactly. And that is why he said, listen, you can overcome temptation. Because he was here. Because let was us go here. back to the Bible. If, um, Hebrew chapter 4. Now, what we need to understand is very simple. If he is a God who asks us to do something and he never gives us an example. Verse whenever... Verse. Four. Hebrews 4 verse 4? Yes. What is it? For he spake in a certain place on the seventh day. Yes. On this wise, and God did rest the seventh okay. day. Okay. Let us go again. All right. Go again. What, what I'm going to do, continue okay. to talk. What yes. we need to do is very simple. You see, the thing is, you know, yes. Almighty God, when he came in the flesh, he came to prove to us that, listen, you can overcome. Because if you notice what the example that Christ said for us, yes. even when he knew he was about to face Gethsemane, you know what he did? He went into a time of prayer before God. He prayed for strength. Yeah. He prayed for strength. Because he knew that we are going to be faced with situation that we're going to need to pray for strength. And I can attest to it that there are times when you are so overburdened to the point where you can't even open your mouth. But the exact but what I do, what helps me is that I will be just be quiet in his presence and just worship. Worship sometimes I can't open my mouth, but my mind may sing in my mind. There are times when I will even put on some songs and I will just listen. And when I'm finished, yes. when I come out of that present, believe you me, I am so refreshed. It's like it gives you a level of empowerment to continue the situation of fix yet, you know. But the, let the, listen, but baby called principle. Faith. No, no, no. Just a let, let me just add to it. Baby called principle said, listen to me. Listen what baby called principle said. Let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say that I am rich. Even though you're not rich yet, you know. Yes. But that's baby called principle. Yes. Why? Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. And faith is the substance of things hoped for. Exactly. The evidence of things no, not yet seen. Let us be more a little bit more. Um, um, realistic mm -hmm. for me to have a empire or for me to have a, a home or a something, I have yeah. to first have a vision, True. ain't it? Yeah, praise the Lord. So, once you have a vision of you don't see it as yet, you know, yeah, but I have a vision, yeah, to reach somewhere in life. Mm -hmm. And once you have that vision, then you work towards your goal. Mm -hmm. First thing you need to understand if you don't believe in your vision, who are going to believe in it for yourself? That is true. You have to believe in your own vision. Whenever, listen to me, your audience should be you. 
your first audience should be you you yeah. believing in yourself and so father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we come right now in your presence mm -hmm. why do we pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth somebody may ask we need to understand where is the scripture taken from which one of the scriptures are you talking are you referring to please Good morning everyone you said okay the general scripture well fine on this platform it's a classroom amen and okay. so we, we we talk about listen to me right. we talk from genesis to revelation yes. all right but the foundation scripture is uh what we're what we're speaking about is, is praise i vow to praise exactly and the scriptures that we were looking on various scriptures we started out with um was it when we started with ecclesiastic we start with um why we were created to praise yes him. yes and then we went on to some of the psalms that spoke to praise of david yes, yes. That spoke to and then praise. we also talk about the fact that the reason why we pray is because pray um, um praise is because praise is one of the key the key the spiritual yes. key praise the lord and that is why i tell people that music of life listen to me i don't care what people want to say music, music. is very influential yeah i don't Remember care what I know, listen Lucifer carefully if i was in charge of music i will go as far as saying if i am tapping this bench right now for a long period of time and humming some song the spirit realm is going to open when i was in the dark world i listen to me i did jump them use and call the demons you know? yes and that is why you know that though yes uh, you know the thing where they call the abeng, even the very thing yes. where they call it a beng, you know the abeng. You know the When you summon the abeng, did you know that the maroon spirit really come to the abeng? You know, I believe that the pokomena spirit is attached to the drumming. Because every spirit is attached no, to every, but, Like for instance, but, I understand what you're saying. Yes, because remember, you know, mm -hmm. remember, you know, you have to look at the origination of yes. this style of worship because it came from our african ancestors yes. and drumming is one of the things that, that, call, the that call the ancestors and some of the time when they used to speak with it to, to each other from camp to camp yes. they, they do, do the sign and yes. the tapping and yes. once you hear the sign and the tapping then the message is yes. being translated yes. now this is the same thing inside the realms of the spirit yes. now i want people to understand that every culture of them own form of um different music, music for yes. instance calypso belongs to um it is said to belongs to where trinidad did you know that the calypso is a, actually a sex demons yes. oh it the dance hall that we have here is actually a gun violent um something and that is why it's associated with gun it's associated with with, it, with um it, it's sex sex de so everybody yes. have a touch of something as a matter of fact yes as a matter of fact the music itself it, okay, it, the it, person wants us to talk about Deuteronomy 28. Yes, we, right. we'll go back to it in a while. Yes. One of the things that we need to understand is that we have to be careful what you put into your spirit, man. Garbage in. My to teacher music. used to tell me. My teacher used because to tell me. Because it's in music. Yes. It op opens the soul. Yes. And when you allow these spirits, because spirits are attached to these music or to these songs, and when you open your soul to these things to come in, it's going there and it start corrupting yes. your spirit man. Just like um, you, you, you have um, a, a computer having a virus. And we downloaded an app one day. And yeah. the app went inside the computer. Oh, Lord, and start take over the take whole over. computer, rewrite the yes. computer data. Well, that's demons. You know? yes. Praise the Lord. I remember one day I was sitting inside my home here. And when I was sitting in my home here, there was playing a music outside. And would you believe me say, the next morning when i get up the music was actually playing in, in, in my yes. spirit that is why i have to be very very careful you have to be very very careful what you allow into your spirit man believe i remember you know i was one of those persons who Hallelujah. attached to dance hall i used to love dance hall music yes remember as a, as a young young woman in church and a song was being played me in a church you know and one car pass and in my mind, me in the church, I wiggle up, you know. Me now wiggle up physically, but my spirit man was in the church. My spiritual body. My spirit <laughs> man was in the church having a wonderful time while the vehicle was passing. Praise yes. The Lord. Amen. Uh, and what you we know, want? You, you know the beauty of it. Because yes. when I was delivered from dance hall, I remembered. I remembered still trying to, you know, still allowing myself to go back there until one day 
one night the Lord actually showed me the spirit itself yes when you see it now when I saw it it's not something that was scary looking no I don't know if you guys ever see the Michelin man um what you call it now the Michelin man um uh it was an ad used to come on when they used to advertise the Michelin yes. kayak and they had this little round man with the different wig. Yes, it, yes. it looked very cuddly. But he had that look about him, but the way he was going on. Rotating, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Because he was there yes. having a good time. And the Lord has shown me the spirit. And that the Lord is said, attached to it. That is it. Yes. That is it. That is the demon of dance. And that is why I said, you know, it may look not something that you want to run away from. Yes. But the underneath. It, the, the damage that is being done to your soul to your spirit erode it is eroding yeah. the, because what has happened now persons have become so hooked yes. to the point where their their morals decay decay yeah and that is why the bible said that when, listen carefully when the moral decay is God. when the bible said that we are smear you know yes. no conscience anymore yes, you, conscience. you give you give you give yeah. nothing yeah. praise the lord so what i want people to understand listen carefully we need to understand the principles of almighty god mm -hmm. the principles of almighty god mm -hmm. once you understand the principles of the kingdom listen carefully what am i speaking of or what am i saying therefore is very simple it is your constitutional right mm -hmm. right all right as a government first thing we need to understand we are dual citizens yeah, what do i mean yes we are we are we are, we are dual citizens right. we are citizens, citizens of heaven and citizens, citizens of, of the earth, earth. Yes. and therefore the amendment the constitutional right said you have the right to be healed and that is why the lord is also saying to us that do not store up treasures on this earth Yes. But store your treasures in heaven. In other words. In other words, we are passing through here. Yes. Do not so be careful. Permanent route. So be careful what you do while you're here. here. Because where you are his are where your treasure is, there your art will be. And that is why a lot of persons get deceived and a lot of persons yes. get left behind. Yes. And this is one of the principles that we need to understand. You see. Oh, oh, we learn the principles of my Almighty. Is it the principles? Well, hold on, of hold on, hold on, hold on, no? hold on, hold on. How can we learn the, the principles principle? of Almighty? This God. is a beautiful question. Yes. Well, God, here, listen carefully. Do the do first thing we need to understand. To listen carefully. No ma, we're gonna be with this first. Mm -hmm. Um, go to the book of um, Second Timothy, chapter two, fifteen. Okay. Timothy. Yeah. No, this is first. First Timothy. Sorry. So the Timothy? question is, how can we learn the principle of Almighty God? Second Timothy what? So two fifteen. And it says Listen carefully. In order for us to understand the principle, this is all we do. This is what we do. Study to show that Study the word of God. God. Study the word of Almighty God so that you can know God's words. A word man Listen that. carefully. Once you know God's words, God's words is what God stick by. So if God said A in a word, that's what Paul was saying, you know. Study the word. In other words, study the constitution. Because once you study the word, the word is the constitution. God's word cannot change. Let me give you an example. In the commandment, it said, Love your neighbor as thyself. Exactly. That's These are laws. Exactly. And These are the principles principle. that God yes. governed by. Then you go on again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't. No, the reason why no, I'm no, no. giving the example. Exactly. I understand, but I just want to add to that. And that is why the Bible said, you see when you say, love thy neighbor as yourself and forgive them. No, this is what the Lord said when he was here. Listen. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In other words, if you don't do it, you can't get it. And we go on again. Exactly. What he's also saying, part of the rules and the regulations when we talk about are your constitutional right your constitutional right is that the lord is saying as a child of almighty god you have to be blessed 
blessing is is, is is promised to you but you are only blessed if you seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness Principle. the principles now listen carefully you can be blessed outside of almighty god if you follow the principles listen carefully if you follow the principle of almighty god you can be blessed by the world yes listen carefully and that is why we saw a lot of person today they are blessed by the world but do you know that when you're blessed by the world it come with consequences because most of who you say blessed by the world in Satanism, don't you see them the past fifty years old? No. But another thing to them the past fifty years old. A lot of them, a lot of them, what they do, you know. Yes. There are some principles that they follow. You know? They have to follow. You know what I mean? They follow some biblical. That's what I'm principles. saying. That they have to follow because when you're working witchcraft, you know, you have to follow the biblical no, principles. you're not understanding yes. what I'm saying. You may look at a man who is not a child of God and he's been blessed. Yes. And you wonder then how come this one are blessed? But you, there are principles that follow that, that, that they have abided by. When the Lord says, "All right, when you give to the poor, you give to me." You lend. You lend. You lend. Yeah, exactly. You give to the poor, but yes, you lend to God. So yes. it's an investment. So, so, so it's, Did you know principles that they follow that have a, allowed them? They have tapped into that principle. Why well, think people like Shaggy? They, they always have a sickle concert when we give to back. the right because he understand biblical principle. Ah. Now what I want you to understand, most in enterprise, most enterprise, they don't go to church, you know, but them send them donation to the church. Yes. Not only that, but they send them donation to the people them around, like the the the, the um the, the something. There. Why? Because they realize that when you give you will receive and then we we'll go on again there's another so thing. these are hold well, on let me finish so these are the biblical principle the principle of god is very simple every word where god speak out time mouth yes. those are the principles yes. yes. thou shall this thou shall not that and let it be so if you want to find out how you, the principle of god the government of god this is how your the bible said study so study the Bible so that you can word. know what God said and, and when, when you know what God said you can do like what Jesus do it is written and then what in order for you to understand too, yes you have to ask the Lord to give you clarity the wisdom yes. the knowledge and the understanding so when you read the word you understand what he's saying to you Why so would what I the ask Lord God is hold on, what the Lord is saying mm -hmm. to us you know mm -hmm. it there are principles, there are guidelines, there are things there that we have to live by in order for us to be to, to have vic vic victorious living. And there are certain things that is that he is obligated to give us. But you have to be at the place to receive them. That's what he's saying. I will give you this just, just if second, you do just this. Second, just a second. According to um, Pinky First Lady Nelson, um, she's saying that um, allow her to finish to talk as well. She is she has some important pointers and um, first Ouch. thing you need to understand. <laughs> listen carefully, woman of God. This is what you need to understand. This is a classroom, all right. And in the classroom, we are sharing because we have all different different type of people on the platform. And so what we do is to teach together and just share together. And so. What happen is while she's talking, Revelation come and I will share and she now use the same principle. Alright? Because what happened is that what happened is that we, we share because when we come off the ear, we don't want anybody to be confused. Yeah. And so what we do is to share together. Alright? So we are here. So in other words, she's saying that yes. we need to give each other time to talk. Well, I don't have a problem with okay. that. Praise the Lord. So you share your point. And Amen. I will share my but opinion. the fact still remain. If it is that you share your point and I have something to in, then you let I'm me finish good. my point. Well, fine. We <laughs> don't have a problem with that. But thank you for the correction, woman okay, of God. Thank Amen. You. Thank All you. Right, what we are saying is she that said I am cutting her off. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is not intentionally. Uh, I, I think I need to work I think on that. You are excited. What <laughs> yes, we are yes. saying is that our constitutional rights. Yes. We need to give them some examples. Of what we're talking go, about. Well, you need to go back to. Go let, back well, to. Let me go back to my. No, no, no. We're not going there. We're no. going to deal with. No. 
Listen carefully. Our constitutional right is what is written in the Bible. So let us go to Deuteronomy 28. But we need to give now. them some examples. Deuteronomy 28. Of Deuteronomy 28 okay. is a very good scripture. Okay, go all right. So you see, woman of God? You see you see the difference? Yes. Right. <laughs> what we do is complement each other. All Praise right, the right, Lord. So here she said she wanted to do some principle, and then I refer to Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> love you too, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy Bishop Charlie is saying that you, you love us. So Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Verse so we one. start from 1. All right. And it said it shall uh, come good to God. Pass. Just a minute. Just a minute. The presence of Almighty God is in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Uh, God, we acknowledge your presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we acknowledge your presence, yes, God. Ah, uh, good God Almighty. We acknowledge your presence upon the platform right now. And we thank you for clarity in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus Christ yes, of Nazareth. Yes, this has nothing to do with us. Because we are messed up. We are filthy rags before you. But God, because of your glory, yes. we give you honor this morning Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you because you are still alive. You are still speaking to your people. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you and we give you glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. One thing you need to understand, no matter what you're doing, once you acknowledge the presence of God, take time out to begin. Hallelujah. Listen yes. to me. Welcome him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Welcome him. Listen to me. We're here because of him. And when him show up on the platform, then we must acknowledge him. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you. Oh, good God Almighty. Hallelujah. We acknowledge you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, feel the atmosphere. Ah, good God Almighty. This is how you know that God is real. Hallelujah. When you know him, you connect with him. Hallelujah. And then you can give him the praise. And this is the reason why we come on the life every Sunday morning. Because we want people to have the same relationship. Even better than what we have with him. And so God, we acknowledge your presence right now. Continue to just give him some worship right now. He is in the room with you right now. Hallelujah to the name of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every spirit that is called Jesus. We come against every religious spirit that is called Jesus Christ. And we shut them down right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are declaring right now that you are God over our life. We are declaring right now that you are God over our spirit. We love you. We honor you. And we give you all the glory right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We were on the threat by Ian the storm but father we thank you because yes. you have delivered us from the storm so this morning we can praise you we can honor you we can glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you yes, Holy God. Spirit and we thank you for deliverance right now upon your people yes, in the God. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. of Nazareth it's all about you it's yes, all about Lord. your name. And we thank you for the spirit of peace. We thank you for yes, the spirit of God. joy in our heart, in our mind, in our soul right now. And we thank you for the assurance in the mighty name of Jesus because Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth. And as I come in agreement right now with my bishop, with my pastor, with my friend, my brother, oh God, Charles, Pros, you know his last name. I will not even venture to call it, but you know his last name. But yes, Father, God. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we put Florida before you right now and we declare God, if it is your will let it be done because we know that your word declare that you are the one who put things upon Pharaoh and his compartment his department so that they will acknowledge you but if this Ian storm have nothing to do with you God we speak to it right now Ian we speak to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we command you to stay in the open sea yes. and then die in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth if you have nothing to do with Almighty God we bind you right now in the open sea and we call you not right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth atmosphere I speak to you right now you will not go landfall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God if this is not to give you glory if he and the storm is not to give you glory let it not affect your people right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth if you don't have any hand in it God I ask that you put it let it remain in the open seas yes, listen yes. carefully the reason why i can pray like this listen carefully the reason why i can pray like this is 
the book of um, um, Genesis chapter 1 26 it said he gave us the authority over everything including the atmosphere we yes. can speak to the atmosphere and this is our the principle of God the rules of God the govern the kingdom let us go back to Bible now okay do it me tell hallelujah you verse, verse 1 we read from verse he 1 said, and it shall come to pass just a second so everything that is in Deuteronomy 21 and show the this entire Bible and they throw the entire Bible this is the law of the living God the covenant the spiritual principle of mankind let us read and it shall come to pass if thou shall hearten diligently listen carefully we're going to come through this Lord, we're going to come through this thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth stop there sir so we're going to come through this that people understand so first thing you need to understand is very simple God is now speaking period so what he's saying is that everything when we speak out of my mouth I have to abide by it that's what he said everything that I speak out of my mouth I have to abide by it why because heaven and earth will pass away but my word will not so yes. here he's saying everything that I speak out I will do it these are the commandment of god these are the laws the principle of mankind so once you know these things you can know said god if me I follow you then you need to do what you say you are going to do in deuteronomy 28 yes and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god now listen carefully now all these things will come unto you but what should i do first before these things come unto me first let us go to the book of matthew you don't go there now but let us go to the book of matthew according to matthew chapter 6 verse 20 or 33 it said but seek ye first the kingdom of god if you want to get blessing from the lord the lord said seek me first the kingdom of heaven and then all these things shall come on thee and overtake thee and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of thy lord of, of thy god amen so the principle is god keep his end of the bargain and your you, constitutional right is that you receive your end of the bargain by doing what god by said doing what god said seek ye first he said, so god is saying put me first and everything else will be added blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall bless shall thou be in the field no what god is actually saying here is that whenever you're going to do anything anything that you're going to do make sure you're going to start a business put him first get him involved god should i start this business what business should i start i asked for inspiration god said listen to me i'm going to bless you in the business i'm going to bless you in this so whether you choose farming and everything i am going to be the god to bless you i am going to increase you but first you have to get me involved yes blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thine of thine kind and the flocks of thy sheep now isn't he an awesome god we are the one as the parents making the, the the agreement with him and the covenant with him you know but yet still he might bless with children yes. that's why he said blessed are what blessed are your half spring praise the lord we are the one making the covenant with him and this is in line with biblical principle Remember i'm saying the, 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 the seed of the righteous shall be blessed and, uh, and, and his children will not suffer nor beg for bread. Not only it's that, not, not only that, but let us go to First Peter 2 9. The Bible said, But you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You listen to me. So we are the children of the living God, mm -hmm. and we are the parents, and our children, remember, you know, are we the parents make covenant with God and God keeping it to the first so and, in and other generation. words, in our other generation words, shall be priesthood. Yes, and uh, in other words. Whatever it is, whatever footprints you leave back, not only you are going to suffer, you know, no, picnic, them are consequences. Suffer. There are consequences. So if we choose to walk in a state of disobedience, it means now that our children and our grandchildren and our grandchildren will be cursed. Will be cursed. No, look on this. It's the same thing goes when we leave, when we are, when we do the will of Almighty God and blessing come upon us, then blessing will trickle down to be picking them too exactly so, be, so it is uh, it is best that we walk in the spirit of obedience no the, unto god no the reason why you walk in the spirit of obedience unto god is very simple listen carefully 
we're not going to jump the gun but listen carefully Saul refused to walk in obedience unto God you know said Jonathan dead Saul daughter dead you know the whole of Saul picking them dead yeah. there was no generation after Saul that My come after God. amen the, listen to me David was actually married to Mal um, Micah, Micah one of Saul's daughter and would you believe because Micah spoke up against Saul spoke David. against Almighty God spoke against David, David when he was Almighty God, God shut up the womb yes. now if you understand biblical principle you would say God wicked because he didn't get the woman no child but listen carefully if God had allowed that woman to have a child God would have to bless him and go back upon, bless her and go back upon him word mm -hmm. and so God said listen to me because Saul did this Saul generation is cursed mm -hmm. so because God did listen to me God when God write you off you know is because he already know what is going to happen mm -hmm. amen he already know what is going to happen he know that you're not going to change he know that I am not going to change mm -hmm. so he said okay let me get rid of the problem blessed shall this is verse 6 now yes blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall, blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Now listen carefully. Whenever you hear the Bible said shalt, S A L C H A S A L T. Shalt. S A S H A L T. You know what shalt mean? Shalt mean future. Yes. Shall mean present. Shalt mean future. And the Bible is saying, Blessed shalt thou be. In other words, blessed shall blessed you shall be in the future. That's what it was actually said. So the word of God is not just writing to the present generation. You know, sir, even though this was in the old testament. It still applies it to us. It still applies to us today. So because the word words, said shall. Shall. Shall so me. It continues. Exactly. Yes. It's a continuous process. It's a continuous process. process. You see, when I was when I was growing up, you know, I used to love watch this book, you know, um, this show then called The Never Ending Story, where they used to sit up on the bicycle and ride and the bicycle and find another year. I used to love watching it. The never ending story. Listen carefully. The Bible is the never ending story. It can't end. It can't end. It can't Praise end. the Lord. Because it whatever, cannot end. Because whatever situation you are faced with, there is always something inside it that applies to you. Exactly. Always. Amen. Even though we have evolved. Yeah, man. The Bible. You evolved can't evolve. Out the, listen to me. You, you can't, can't evolve. evolve the Bible. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. And listen to me carefully. You know when I know that God is an awesome God is genesis chapter 2 verse 9 did you know that god put the death of jesus christ of nazareth he, he, he redeemed mankind before mankind sin yeah, That's he what, yes he knew that mankind was going to sin and so that are one of the principles but remember amen so we stick by the principle god amen of all gods and the king of all and he know everything that he is know going everything to amen he know my heart yes. before we even take the thought he amen it. praise the lord so what he said now uh, verse 7 the Lord shall cause thine enemies to rise up against thee, to be smitten before thy face. Why would they shall that? come out against thee one way and flee before thee Why would he do seven that? ways. Why would he do because that? Because the Lord knows that the Satan is going to come at us. Yes, when we are being blessed. When we are being blessed. That is the same thing that happened and to Job. going to try. That is the same thing to that happened to Job. us in every way, shape, and form, and that is why. We, it, I, I remember I, I said earlier on mm -hmm. that whatever situation you are faced with now, go and find the scriptures, Google it or something that speaks to your situation and pray back your, those words to God and say, God, your word said X, Y, and Z. You said you will do X, Y, you will deliver me out of all my troubles. You said so and so and so and so and so. Yes. So it is our constitutional right to know the right to, to know, know the, the Bible. To the know Bible. The right. Just so as how Jesus because, because Hosea said yes. my people perish. Because, because they don't know them word. Them don't know the word of God. That's what it means. So instead of going to God and complaining and murmuring, find the scriptures, the Master God. You said that I will be blessed when I come in. And I will bless when thou goest out you said lord that my enemies will be smitten you said mighty god they will come against me in one way but you said they will flee against me seven different ways That's what the lord said. now what we need to understand is very simple listen carefully what we need to understand is very simple 
why would God said your enemy is going to come at you and you should not run away from them because he said he give you the authority one, to tread upon serpents and scorpions one, and nothing shall by no means harm thee one two what is the second one no first thing you need to understand your God show off in, listen to me your God is boasting listen to me the Bible said in Psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. Walk. He prepared a table before me. We are in the presence <laughs> of my enemies. Listen to me. When you have enemy around, that's when God is more. Because the reason for this is very simple. Your friend can tell lie. When your friend tell lie, say you know, say the Lord was good to me. But when your enemy said, I see the blessing of the Lord. Pan him life. Pan your life. And life. can't do nothing. It mean no. Say, listen to me. The enemy is a. Listen to me. That's why God didn't use the church to write on the. the, the, the um. The, this is the king of the Jews. You know. You know what I love about this part. Yes. Verse eight says, "The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses yes. and in all that thou sittest, thou sittest thine hand unto." And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Why? Because we have chose to walk in the spirit of obedience, obedience unto him. Why? Because the Bible tells us, listen what the Bible tells us. In the book of Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. It said obedience is it's better, better than, than sacrifice. So when you obey me, I'm going to reward you. What yeah. reward will you get from verse 8? Then verse 9. No, verse 8. Verse 8. When you said, walk in obedience, the Lord I will what? shall command the So blessing, blessing run me down. Upon thee. You don't know, understand what I want? Yes. Blessing I run me down. It have to find me. It have to locate me. Once me walk in obedience unto Almighty God, blessing have to run me down because it was commanded by Almighty God. And then that is why now we have the authority to say, listen to me, money find me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Exactly. Healing find me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is my constitutional right to be blessed. It is my constitutional right to be prosperous, to be in good health because the word of God says that as my soul prospered, I must prosper and be in good health. Amen. As so I'm saying. So and if you even them, when you not see it yet, please to speak it into being. Speak it into call it call into being. Into be. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Continue to believe it is going to come. Praise the Lord and continue to wait on it. Why? Because the Bible said, no faith is the evidence of things. It's the substance of things hope for. The and you don't see it yet. You don't see it yet. In the physical world. So but you see it in the spiritual them, world. You know you can pronounce blessings by your pity them too. Amen. You can't pronounce blessing over your children. That's what you need to be doing. Bless them. Don't curse them. Bless them. You shall be successful in whatever you touch. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So you need to speak the blessings Amen. over your children. Them Follow well. biblical principles. Follow biblical principles. Amen. Bless your children. Bless your bless for one another. In other words, then. Amen. Believe and wait on the Lord. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You believe and wait. Just like when you plant a seed. You know, just go dig up at the seed. You'll know you have it to, to nurture it. Exactly. You have to water it. Now the same thing with the same thing with same relationship principle. with Almighty same God. Same principle. You have to water You have a relationship yes. with your with your wife or your husband, yes. girlfriend or whatever. And if you don't spend time with that individual, it's it is apart. going to erode. It, listen to, to me. Apart. It's going to erode. Yeah. And the same thing you need to understand. Have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. When you have a relationship with God, you can't listen to me. It's hard to sin against my wife, you know. Yes. And let me tell you why it's hard to sin against my wife. It's hard to sin against my wife because I get to know her. Yeah. Who she is, what she support. Hey, listen to me. If somebody come and said your wife this, me can say no. I know my wife that. Exactly. And listen to me. I know my wife that. Mm -hmm. The person who you describe, I know my wife that. Mm -hmm. And even if I went she do it at the time, I still know my wife. <laughs> I want spirit and I want to do that. Praise the Lord. So she made the poor choice at that time. But I know my wife that. Praise the Lord. I need you to understand biblical principle. When you know God, you can say I know God that. Yes. The Bible, listen just a second, XYZ, just a second, just a second. Yes, yeah. The Bible said that when, listen carefully, the Bible said that there was a time in Elisha's life when he was actually wondering, God, where is your present? And the Bible said a whirlwind come. And when the whirlwind come, God said, Elisha said, no, that is not God. 
the man have a relationship with God. God. That's when all the devil like, try to imitate something. Yes. The man said that is not God. That is and not then God. when yes. it comes this and God is not God, yes. he said that is not God. Yes. And when the still voice of God speaks, he said that, that is God. That is God. My God. That is the relationship. That is the relationship we must strive Amen. to have. The God, that is the relationship I want to have with you. Exactly. That sort of relationship. So when the enemy come to deceive me, but we say, no, 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 no. No, no. that's not my that's husband. Not my no, God. that's not my wife. That's listen not my to father. me. Listen to me. That's not my father. Amen. I don't listen to me. First thing you need to understand, you know, the devil is also a father, you know. The father of father life. Of life. <laughs> Amen. So and don't deceit. you think. Exactly. And deception. That is he is the father of lies and deception. He is the father of nothing that is good. Amen. And this is one of the reasons why he would have answered Daniel prayer. Did you know that that is the reason why he intercepted he, Daniel's no, he prayer? He tried to intercept it. He tried to intercept it. He tried, tried to, to intercept, intercept it. You know why? He is in the second heaven. Amen. He's in the second. Listen carefully. Now listen, biblical principle. Why would God, um, Satan, uh, um, uh, um, intercept David, um, Daniel's prayer? Because first thing to comment, he is a father, a father of light. Yes. Amen. So what he did when De Daniel was praying, Daniel said, um, "Remember, I know the name of Jesus was not yet given." And so when Daniel was praying, he said, Father in heaven and whatsoever. So because Satan is in the second heaven, he take the prayer, the thief, take the prayer. Um, take the, it was the answer, the answer. to Daniel's Amen. prayer. So that, no. But after Jesus died, listen carefully, after Jesus died, Jesus said, listen to me. So the name of Jesus is actually, you, you remember when God said to Moses, it, my name is everything. In other words, my name is I am that I am. Yes. I am that I am means that it is everything that you want. I am yes. your wife, your husband, your sister, your brother. Your, you listen to me, your lonely, your faith, everything that I am. So the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not just a saving name, but I am that I am. Mm -hmm. I am everything that you want it to be. Yes. That's what it means. Yes. Now, what I want people to understand, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is an envelope. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is an envelope. So when you give sending a letter to heaven, you wrap up your, your letter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once you put your letter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and stamp it with the name of Jesus, you know, so Satan can't touch that letter there. You can't touch that letter there. You request to God. Amen. The reason why a lot of person not getting the reason why a lot of person not getting answer from God is the fact that they are not. The reason why a lot of person is not getting answer from God is because they are not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as often as possible in your prayer. That is what you need to do. Use up the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan is afraid of the name of Jesus Christ and of Nazareth. I must also add to that as well. Yes. When you're praying... And that's biblical principle. Yes, when you're praying, I would also add that you do not pray amiss. No. If you want to come... When you're praying about a particular situation in your life, do not come and complain to God. Don't complain. When you come to God, let your request be known unto Him. You tell Him back His words. And then you stamp it. Yes. With the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because the Lord said, whatever is done in my name. Have to happen. Yes. It has to come. Have so to come to you pass. one, you come to him straightforward. Yes. You don't come and complain, Lord, so and so and so and so and And you know, say him never did it. No. Mm -mm. No. Come straightforward. Get to the point. Lord, so and so and so. First you exalt him. Yes. You glorify him. Then you put a petition, let your petition be known unto him. And you tell him back in words. You said, your word said I should be blessed. Your word said so and so and so and so and so. Your word said that healing is the children's bread. Yes. That's what your word said. Your word said you shall supply all my needs according to your riches in glory, which is in Christ Jesus. And Lord, if it is a case where I'm focusing too much on the problems, then God, I pray that you'll take away this. You flood me with your peace that passes all understanding. That you give me, Lord God, take away this, this spirit of despair from me yes. and give me the oil of joy. For, 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 for that, that, and take away the spirit of mourning. Yes. These are all scriptures. And these are all principles and these of are the all Almighty God in which he stands by. And this is how you are to be praying. 
No, if it is that you're abiding. If it is a case, sorry, love. No, man, go. If it is a case where you are fearful about a situation, you said, Lord, you said you did not give me a spirit of Psalms fear, but of power, would be of a love, shot. and of, yeah. a, of, of a sound man. You said, a sound man. Mm -hmm. Lord, you also said in Psalm 91, you said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You, shall, you, you see, go for this, the beauty of, of, of this now that we have. We have the Bible at your fingertip. Yes. Go look for the scripture then. Go before God and say, God, this is for your words. And you start reading the word to him. Yes. Your word says this, Lord. Take and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on, so And if you are one of those persons who love the old time Bible, go draw for your Bible. And go back and you look again and you start reading the word and you say, God, your word says. Mm -hmm. Tell him what his word says. Because say, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not return unto me void. True. He is not a man that he should lie. He can't lie. He can't he lie. Ca listen to me. He can't lie. God, listen to me. As a former Satanist, I can tell you, God cannot lie. Straight across the board. You know why he can't lie? The Bible said, if you make your bed in hell. I don't have hell, God come for me now. You ever in a hell it and the Lord come down there for you? Praise the Lord. Hell hope more upon you. And the Bible said, when hell if you make your bed in the pit of hell, I don't think God come for you. You can testify, said, listen to me. My situation could be best described as the pit of hell, but yet still God came there for me. That's all I want to point out, you know. Listen to me. That's all I want to point out. The word of God, he cannot lie. He you, you, lie. He can't lie. He no, can't lie. lie. Before God lie, God keep silent. Exactly. No, serious. Because everything when speak out of mouth, he must figure do. So before him talk, before him get talk and get himself in a problem, he keep silent. And if God said A, eh, you could have walked from now around the world and come back and still A. Eh. God can't it change. Establish it. It Amen. Was, it was it can't change the rule. Listen to me. Yeah. You see, like how oh, our law, I believe, honestly speaking, this has nothing to do with my wife. This has nothing to do with anybody else. This is my view. I believe that our law, our constitutional law, the Jamaican law, is right with a pencil. Anything when you suit me, me rub it out and write it back over. All right. I so me believe that it, no, this have nothing to do with my wife. It have uh, this is my opinion. All right. This have my opinion, and so I strongly believe that the Jamaican law is right with a pencil and an eraser. So you rub out anything when you suit me, me rub it out and me write back where me want to write out. But, and I like me I tell because most of you hear some of the page them in the book missing. I then put um something there white um whitewash. No, oh. no, no. Don't speak when you don't. <laughs> no, no, I see. I sing for something else. Okay, fine. Praise the Lord. I won't speak when I don't. But what I want people to understand is very simple. When it comes to God, His word cannot change. Yes. That's what I want to point word out. He can't change. Can change it at him go along. Remember saying no, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and he's the end. When the Bible change. listen carefully, listen carefully, listen carefully. What I have learned in the realm of the spirit. When he said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and, and the, the end. end. Why did God said he is Alpha and Omega? The he beginning was and the end? there at the beginning yes. and he will be there at the end. And of he will the be earth, there at the and end. And he the will earth. be there beyond that. Exactly. The because life does not end when you drop out from Take it as me, it tell starts. you. It's just me. It just starts. <laughs> Take it as me. That's tell when you. eternity starts. Listen carefully. At the birth when each individual is birth in a uh, born all right at that birth now that is when your physical life starts yes but did you know that when the physical body dies your spiritual body now comes alive hey. that's when that's as when everything as a matter of fact, you know, that's when everything as starts. a matter of fact, you know, that's when you're going to you go over now officially now into, into the, the realms of world. the spirit because the long because right now you know yes we have the three compartments in us, our body, which is what you're looking on, yes. our soul, which you can't see, and our spirit man. So what is the soul? The spirit man, the spirit man yes. is what is alive when you're asleep. Yes. That spirit man, we're up and down and do all sorts of things if you're not training. Yes. That is your spirit man. But you might say, oh, I'm in the world of dream now. That is your spirit man behaving Wandering itself, inside. Wandering up and doing up all sorts of those things. That Amen. is your spirit man. No, the question... Your soul, I believe, is what is speaking to you right now. You believe that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what your soul is. Whether you want to believe it, yes, I know. This is your soul. The Bible said in... Listen carefully. The Bible said in Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. 
for the weapon of our war it, for the weapon of our war is not car of, our, of our warfare weapons of our warfare are not, are not carnal, carnal but, but they, they are, are mighty, mighty to what? God to the pulling down of strongholds what the stronghold which what the attack strongholds the mind those are the strongholds that attack the mind no i want you to understand that your soul is your mind Listen yeah. to me. Your because soul the is the mind. The war starts up there. In listen. To, so I think the the devil go after your mind. Yeah, in go after your soul. Go and your soul, soul in go after the because yeah, the Bible the said. Wants. Just a second. The Bible said in Genesis. Listen carefully. Let us understand Bible. The Bible said in Genesis chapter two verse seven that God created the body. So the body not mean not much, you know. That's why we saw the body on the cross. When the body, when Jesus said, "Into thy hand I commit back my spirit," you see yes. the body on the cross. The body no mean nothing when it come to God. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah! The body no mean nothing when it come to God because that's why this the Bible said the, the flesh fight against the spirit. But listen carefully. The message that was on the cross that what all that matter. What was the message on the cross? Pilate wrote a title. This is Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Church. So that was the message that was on the cross. So I want people to understand carefully when you are going through your situation what the devil does is go after your soul. Yes. What is your soul? Your mind. mind. And that is why we have so much illusion in the place. And that is why you notice you have so much madman. Why? Because the devil can't kill you physically. He go after you spiritually. So he try to kill your soul. They call it kiskofrina. Listen to me. I know Kiskofrina you call it. Or bipolar. Disorder. Or bipolar. Listen or to me. depression. All of these things are yes, spirit. Are spirit. All of these things are yes. spirit. Yes. Amen. So once an individual going through all of these things, always find out what they are going through. And also. And then you pray against it. And you find the root. Amen. Because all of these things have a root. A gateway. It came from somewhere. A gateway. What was the gateway that caused these things? Is it if it if it is a if it is an hereditary disease? Yes. Where did it come from? Who was the one who ignited the, permission. the spirit world yes. to allow it to have a stronghold in your bloodline? What was the root of this thing? Where did it originate it from? Everything that happens to us has a root. Yes. And that is why we are saying to you, be careful of the seeds that you plant. Exactly. Because these seeds will germinate and they will grow. Some um pro um the bishop said, Pastor um Charles said, Amen. Mental sickness. Amen. We call yes. it the spirit of madness. madness yeah. yes, we call it yes, the spirit of madness. Yes. So we come against the spirit of madness, madness. and illusion. Yes. Depression. So the yes. gateway is always depression. Yes. So we come against the spirit yes. of depression. Now what you need to understand is that the spirit of depression is also called the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. A lot of people don't understand this. The, na the spirit, every spirit, every religious spirit and every sickness spirit is called Jesus and Jesus Christ and so when you're praying against this spirit this spirit will not leave because they are also called Jesus and Jesus Christ all right I'm going to show you a biblical principle why I say this all right so these spirits are called Jesus and Jesus Christ so what happened is if you don't tell the spirit say, listen to me I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that individual will never get deliverance now this is biblical principle the reason why they are called Jesus listen carefully biblical principle Every created being have the right to be called their father's name. And uh, principle. And let me add something as the Lord will download it in my spirit. Let me give you an example of what he's talking about. You remember when Moses went into Egypt? Exodus 7. Yes. Verse 11. And uh, Pharaoh called the wise men and his magicians. And when they came, and they, they threw down their rods and it became a snake. And when Moses threw down his, you notice what happened? Moses' rod ate up theirs. All of this is a message. You know? So what the Lord is basically saying to us, mm -hmm. the same way back in the days of Moses, these so-called magicians could have performed all these things. These things is the same thing that is happening today. The demons and devils just evolve with us. Yes. And that is why each time, each era, each era, yeah, the name changes. The shape, it, the, like Satan is a shape shifter. Yes. 
So each era him evolve. Just so like as that. mankind evolve and develop, evolve too. if you notice the style of dressing changes each era. Yes. And that is why the Lord is saying to us, be not deceived. Yes. Be not deceived. Know God for yourself. Because this is the last days and the Bible says even the very elect will be deceived. Will be deceived. The so you have to be careful. Know the word of Almighty God. Form that relationship with him so that you are not lured away by, by signs of... and wonders. Yeah, that is what killing the church. Everybody seeking signs and wonders. Because these so-called magicians are here in our realm. Yes. They are here. And a lot of persons are lured away by these so-called prosperity messages. Because men have become lovers of themselves rather than, the rather than lovers of God. <clears throat> Everybody wants materialistic things, but they do not want the blesser. We don't want God because serving God, I don't have too much restriction. No, when you really know Almighty God, there's no restriction. You only said, yes, listen to me. You can't throw your body all over the place because my body is a temple. You have to keep it holy. The mm -hmm. Lord is saying, listen to me. You can't go and, and, and drink your son and drink their son. You, you say, be not be drunk with, with, with wine. If they say you can't touch a little bit, you know, but do not be drunk with it. Yes. Because if God had a problem with alcohol, he would not have turned the water into wine. That was his is first miracle. Is the excess of it? That is the excess is of, the excess of it. He's talking about. Yes. The excess of everything is caused by sin. It's, uh, it's called sin. Because yes. if you eat too much. If you eat too much. You become uncomfortable. It becomes a sin to you. It becomes a sin. Sex is beautiful. Not but to if mention, too much. Well, yes. if, you know, it becomes obsessive. Yes. Yes. Too much. You have to have a balance. So there's a but there must be the a balance, balance in everything. with everything. And that is why the book of um Proverbs tell you said if you're too good, man will take disadvantage ah. of you. And if you're too evil, then the Lord will set somebody ah. over you to take you out. So you must be balanced. There must be balance. Amen. You must be balanced. Yes. In other words, you can't make people come and stick yes. for you. There is a time when you said no. But that is why is the enough. Lord said you use can wisdom. Be angry Godly wisdom. And you don't have to sin. Amen. And that is coming from the book of Ephesians yes. chapter 4 verse 26. Yes. Be hungry but sin, sin not. not. And we saw the same example where Jesus Plot a card according to the Bible. One scripture said he run them out, and the next scripture he plot a card. Why would Jesus have the authority Wait, to plot the card? And that is why I'm also tell we spare not the rod and spoil the child. Now the question I know ask is very simple. If it is that Jesus plot a rod or plot a whip, all right, and he and he beat them out of the church, why would he do that? What would give him the authority to do that? Praise because the Lord. Because he's God. No, not because he's God. He because if it, no, no, no. If it is, if it is that he's God. The word God, of God said, chase the those he love. <laughs> One, two. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. That's an awesome response. But that's not the reason why he did it. Why he did the it? reason why he did it. Listen carefully. Listen, baby called principal. Close back the door. No, this, it's hot. This, close back the door. They pump and make too much time. Okay. He, listen, baby called principal. Listen, baby called principal. The reason why he was able to do this is because the same scripture that you're talking about. Moses and the rod. Yes. Now that give him the authority as the rod. Because when we have him as a tree, the tree of righteousness, which is the tree Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, we decide say so we don't want the tree to cover us. So we go look for a false tree, which is a tree we then call which, it religion. 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 So what happened now? God break the next time we saw him at the branch, the branch is called the rod. And so God, we saw Moses with the rod, the rod of correction, the same rod, spearing at the rod and boy the child. So when Jesus came and started use up the rod in the temple, baby Kali, he was correct. You know, so in other words, you know, what is happening, you know, is that mankind want to serve God for them own way. That is all. They word. want to have the best of both worlds. And you can't, you can't, you cannot be on the borderline. Straight up. It's either you're for God or you're against him. You cannot be of the world and at the same time you say God. Is that you have to you have to choose? Amen. Choose ye this day who you will serve. Are you going to serve the flesh, the things of this world? Are you going to be holy unto God? And being holy unto God does not restrict you. 
Meaning, you can enjoy your life just the same. Okay, so we're going to take a time out. Amen. Uh, we're going to take a time out. And this is so important because this individual said that he was battling with the spirit of, he called himself Umble Lion. So Umble Lion is saying that he's battling with the spirit of madness. And every now and then he struggle with the spirit All right, of so madness. All right, so what we will do, Umble Lion, if you wish to speak to Brother Simit yes. after we come off here. No, 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 no. What we are going to do is to pray with Umble Lion. You're going to pray with Umble Lion. You're going to let him in a spirit. You know, you can just, he, he's listening to you, you know, he don't, he's not going to come on here. You're going to speak, uh, pray over his soul. Teach him how to pray against the spirit of madness. Go ahead. All right. This is, repeat after us as you, as she go ahead. All right. All right? You, well, you lead him into prayer. Okay. You, yeah, you lead okay. Him into, so, okay. Umble Lion, praise the Lord. This is how you should be praying. We know that you have 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 been delivered listen carefully we know you have been delivered but you're still wrestling with the spirit amen so for you to get total deliverance listen carefully for you to get total deliverance this is how you should be praying all right the reason why you pray like this is because the spirit that you're battling the spirit that you're wrestling with is called the spirit of um it is called jesus and jesus christ all right and so what happened this spirit is a religious spirit it can't kill you it cannot kill you physically so it's trying to kill your soul amen so this is how you pray eternal god repeat after me eternal god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i you call your full name come in your presence right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and every spirit of madness and illusion that was assigned to me that is not of you I, your full name take authority over them right now and I rebuke them back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I am the God of my life and as the God of my life, I was given authority over my destiny. And so right now, I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are not welcome in my body anymore. You are not welcome in my spirit anymore. I renounce and denounce you right now. And I rebuke you back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will not be... Um, you will not pass on to my children or my children children this is where you stop in my lineage and I come against you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth amen that is how you pray my brother amen and this is how you pray where every okay is Dalton humble lion is Dalton amen that is how you pray amen over the spirit of madness so this is how you pray my brother god richest blessing upon you once you identify what you're going through listen yes. to me all you need to do just like when you go to the doctor and he, he find the symptom then he and apply the antibiotic mm -hmm. and the same way it go once you identify the spirit apply the the name of jesus christ of nazareth that's all you need to do the name of jesus christ of nazareth praise the lord is an antibiotic in the realms of the spirit Amen. It take care of all our spiritual diseases. Amen. So that is what we need to understand. And this is biblical principle. Why is it biblical principle? Because Isaiah 53, 5 confirm it. It said, he was wounded for our transgression, mm -hmm. bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripe we are healed. So this is what it is. It is by his name. What is his name? His name is called Jesus of Nazareth. The Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 23. It said he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. He shall be called a Nazarene. Praise the Lord. That is why the title Jesus Christ of Nazareth came upon him. And what we need to understand. You're welcome my brother. Humble Lion is staying, telling you yes, that. Yeah. What you need to understand is very simple listen carefully the power is all in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that is why the bible tells us listen what the bible tells us in the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower mm -hmm. 
the righteous run into it and they yes, are saved. Yes. God take precedent in his name. Yes. He listen to me. You see, see him like oh man take pride in them name. Man want a boy. Listen to me. If him have ten girls, he more one boy. If him have ten girls, if him have ten boys, listen to me. Man take pride in them name because the fact that the boy is going to carry on the seed. The seed, yes. Amen. That is what God does. He takes pride in his name. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once you call the name, listen to me. Heaven and earth shift. You say what the Lord, but Jesus Christ of Nazareth is saying, you know. Yes. Is that he said, the only way that you can get to the Father is through him. The name is a doorway. It is a doorway to the Father. Amen. That's what he's saying. And it is no listen carefully, and this is in line with biblical principle. Because you remember There's a when scripture that speaks about it, you know, I can't remember the scripture, but the Lord said he is yes, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father. The same scripture but which is in John chapter yes, 14, yes. verse 6. Yes. I am the way, the truth, and the, the life. life. Now yes. the reason why I say this, listen carefully. When Jesus came and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, was he lying? No. He wasn't. No. Listen carefully. The reason why he become the way, the truth, and the life. Remember when they were in the book, of, in, in in the book of um, they were in the book um, they were in Egypt. Jesus of Nazareth, listen carefully. God said to Moses, "Kill the lamb." At the birth, at the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he was actually introducing to mankind. Now he said, "Kill the lamb." And when you kill the lamb, in other words, Jesus is going to be sacrificed for the sin of mankind. So he said, listen Moses. So in order for us to accept what he was actually saying spiritually, he should give us a physical demonstration. He said, Moses, you see the lamb over there, so we don't have no sin, no punishment. We don't have no, no, no cut know, up on it. You know the funny thing about it though? Yes. The, 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 the purpose for that, kill the, them killing that lamb and putting it at the time. Because the lamb of God did not come yet. Exactly. And that is why they had to follow those practices. No, let, 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 me, let me finish. Let me finish. Where they were they had to hold on. They, they had to follow those practices that because they were under the law. The law said that they had to kill a spotless lamb at the time for their atonement of sins. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came he fulfilled that is the next point. law. We need to talk on that point. But let me yes. finish, close this point first. What I wanted to point out is very simple. Listen carefully. The reason why... G we're talking about introduction of Jesus Christ of Nazareth mm -hmm. now. Now, the reason why Jesus Christ of Nazareth called himself the door. Listen carefully. You see that door where, where Moses was painting with the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. You, you get what I'm saying? That same doorway. And the same doorway Jesus are claiming up. He said, listen to me. Why am I the door? Because I am the door. The same lamb, the same blood that was placed on the doorway. For your doorway of your heart. Because it's not a physical thing anymore. You know? mm -hmm. The doorway of your heart. So each time you accept me, the doorway of your heart is now paid by my blood spiritually. Hallelujah. So when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And that is why. Hallelujah. That, you know, so that is where we have been deceived. Where people are take olive oil, I put over them doorway, you notice this, you notice their window, exactly on them them everywhere. Because guess what happened? When you do that, yes, you are saying that this olive oil represents the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But this no, is not biblical. Listen, not, hold on, because Jesus Christ of Nazareth came. And he died and he rose from the dead to fulfill the law. The law of killing a spotless lamb and, and painting the doorway for protection. We don't need to do that anymore. That's what he's saying. And that is you one of the reasons why we're deceiving the church. Exactly. That's why he's saying you don't need to be using no olive oil to be painting your house again. Because all you need now is to come through me. Accept which is me. I am the doorway exactly. to your protection. Exactly. I am the doorway to your prosperity. I am the doorway to your success. Everything that you ask in my name. So all those individuals who are using oil and I sell olive oil. Oh, so no, stop to, it. No, no, no. Left them alone. Make them do it, them alone. All of those individuals that are doing olive oil and everything. I'm not going to tell you to stop it. Continue to do it. But I'm going to tell the people who are watch me. Do not buy any. <laughs> <laughs> them can't sell with myself, but do not buy any. Praise the Lord. Listen carefully. If you're going to use olive oil in any shape or form, anything that you're going to use, make sure say it is inside the Bible. Let's put it this no, way. No, listen you carefully. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, one is going to say, but Paul did said that you should call the elders and use olive oil. Come on, listen carefully. Let us use wisdom. 
Now, what you need to understand is very simple. Very simple. What you need to understand is very simple. There is Jesus of Nazareth came. And when he came, the original blood of the lamb came. Mm -hmm. Now, the olive oil is only a representation of the original. Mm -hmm. Now, if me can have the original, why do I need the a, 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 um, a carbon copy why do I listen to me I want the original blueprint I don't want the carbon copy because on the carbon copy there can be errors so I want to have the carb I want to have the original copy not the carbon copy all right exactly. so, so uh, what I want to people to understand listen carefully a lot of things people even though I am here now and I'm speaking I can be in hero yeah. all right because one of the rules of the Bible one of the principle of the Bible you see, the teaching of Paul, listen carefully. The teaching of Paul, I don't adhere solely to the teaching of Paul. No. You know, if I want to, listen to me. And the reason why I don't adhere solely to the teaching of Paul. In other words, I don't put my head on the block where Paul is concerned. Because Paul was just a common man. Exactly. And he make error on many occasions. Mm -hmm. For instance, the first thing that God tells you in the book of Genesis 2.24. For this cause a man leave his mother and father and cling to his wife when he come of age and cling to his wife and the two shall be one now paul changed that and said listen to me if it is that you can live a celibate life and you can do this and do that and do that and he promotes celibacy now listen to me that is against the word of god i you know the funny thing about it i in a way uh, i just mentioned the word celibacy no celibacy is not a lot of us need to practice celibacy until the lord bring the right person. I mean, like what you say, until life. the Lord bring. Because they say, yes, if it's a case where, because not everybody they born to get married. Some people just chose to walk, be by themselves. And you can't beat a man for that. No, no, or no, a no, woman no. for that. But if it's a case where you desire to have somebody, to you have, have the somebody, right to have somebody. You have the right. And the church can't stop you. And the church can't stop Religion you. Religion can't stop you. just that. Paul is saying, keep your body holy. No have it a fling, 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 fling. Well, fling. that I can understand. All over the place. But that's not what Paul said. I know, Paul was telling Paul, go a little bit further. If he said, <laughs> Paul, this is what Paul said. If it is that you can keep yourself done and because woman is a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, troublemaker. Yeah, woman is a troublemaker. <laughs> you woman uh, is a troublemaker. A <laughs> woman and pitney is all extra package. That's what Paul said. I think Paul was just... A little bit emotional. <laughs> yeah. Because Praise Paul the Lord. never married... No, he didn't. Paul didn't have anybody. So you see why I don't put so my... So he was saying, you know, taking care of your own soul is enough. Yes. But when you have a family, you it have... To, burden. It, you have to think about your family. But that's not what the word you of God said. That, the, the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. Okay, fine. I know why you're going but to But a lot of persons know that be you fruitful and multiply out of context. Well, well, in Because you have you a whole heap of seed that fly all over the place. Some of them are so fatherless. Oh God Almighty, this is why you have so much. That's why so the Bible says some drop on stony ground. <laughs> on the earth. Amen. Because, Amen. you know, persons have fathered and mothers have mothered children and they have abandoned them. So, okay. You know, you have a lot of suffering on the so earth. So, somebody of asks this question. In the nature of persons. Somebody asks this question. Good morning good to you. Good morning. What if? What well, good morning? If you bless the olive oil, then he, hello. It should not be done. There's no olive oil. If you want some olive oil, you drink your olive oil. If you want some laxative, you drink the olive oil. What you what, what saying? What nothing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Anything that you're going to do, as long as it is not for religious purposes, all right? Yeah. You use the olive oil because you olive oil is very good it's when you're good you for your skin. It's in your Beautiful skin. for your yes, skin. Man. Yeah, because yes, man. you and use it for that purpose. It for your purpose, but not for religious and purposes. And if you use it for med medicinal, where yes. you, you you find that you may you, you lose live, up your bowels, you lose up your bowels. You use it for that. You can have it, but for you, if you say you go pray over olive oil, if you go represent the blood of Jesus. That's Christ, where you go it. wrong. That's where you go wrong. That's where because you go wrong. what That's where we go wrong. is saying. Yes, I came to fulfill the purpose of them yeah. using the blood on the mantle post at the time was for protection at because Christ did not come but when come, Christ came yeah. the plane feel level and he said listen I have fulfilled all of these things so they are I not required am now that lamb yes I am the lamb that so you are to put on anymore. your doorpost so and he's saying anymore. all you need to do is ask me to be your protection amen 
That's what he's saying. I will protect you. You do not need to represent me no. in the for in no form of element. No. Because listen carefully. I am here. And that is one I am the, with you. That is one of the reasons. Listen carefully. When Jesus was hanging from the cross, this is what he said. Listen carefully. It is finished. And when he was leaving, he said, The comforter, who is the Holy Spirit, me call him the mother. Mm -hmm. Is here. Yes. That comforter is what is going to protect us. So when you come and you say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you said, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me find it. Hold on there. Just give me a second there, people. So what we need to, I will just share as you, as you talk. Yes. What we need to understand is very simple. Very, very simple. Listen carefully. What you need to understand is very simple. All right. Once you pray, Using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power is all in the name of Jesus Christ of So let me Nazareth. go on now. Yes. Let me find it. So if it's a case where you are going through a situation where you're fearful. And instead of you go take up the olive oil and you go put your cross by your doorway. You go through your house to the word of God. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. And Surely so right he now shall in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. Amen. Every demons and devils no, no, that just a second, 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 mm -hmm. just a second. This is important. No, take about the scripture. Take about mm -hmm. the scripture. Because this is important. This is important. Come now. Read again. Take time, Marie. Just take time, Marie. Where? Just right there first. No, one. I was just giving no, him an no, example no, no. And I'm giving him an example again. So I'm just I will capitalizing. Say of the I'm, Lord. He is my refuge and oh, my fortress. Listen fortress. carefully. My listen, God. listen, listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just relax. Just relax. I will say of the Lord, He is my what? My refuge. He is my refuge and, and my fortress. fortress. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God in him I will trust. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the principal more and then get you know. But I was, let me say that now. Okay. Then surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise some pestilence in the name of Jesus ah, Christ of that's Nazareth. That's the principle. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust and you can even be personalized with uh, can we go on sometimes personalize say, me, my Michelle Michelle he shall cover Michelle with his feathers and under his wings shall Michelle trust yes his truth shall be Michelle's shield and buckler in the name of Jesus Christ of Psalms Nazareth. 91 we're reading from Michelle shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the horror that flies by day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalms 91 is what we're Psalm reading Psalm 91 from. is what I'm reading yeah. from. I'm just giving but you we're an just using biblical principles. of how you pray the scripture yes. back to God. Yes. This, I'm not speaking of in the case of fear. Yes. So you are now declaring now in yes. the realms Psalms of 91. the spirit welcome, to the demons and devils that are assigned to attack you. You are now saying to them, listen, I am protected by the most high God. So you are now saying, God, this is what you tell me. Say. And if you tell me this, I will. I'm and this is what I'm going to believe. Yes. And you say anything that is done in your name. Will and shall be. It shall be so. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the Christ name of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You can't go on again. No. You can't pray the 23rd Psalm. So oh, the Lord let me, is let my me, shepherd. Let me, let me seal it. Let me seal it up now. You see, most of David's um, Psalms, David always said, Sila. You know what Sila means? So sign, sign, sign. I sign it. I seal and sign it. Yes. So all that principle David was giving us, David said, Sila, Sila, Sila. I mean, he signed it in what? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A long time, Sila, they both, you know. Mm -hmm. Seal is a seal. I seal it in the name of Jesus. That's what David said. In David time, he says, Sila, it will exactly. be Jehovah God. In Jehovah God. I seal yes. it in Jehovah God. So what David is actually saying, listen to me, he was actually preparing us for the seal because the name of Jesus is a stamp, is a spiritual seal. Mm -hmm. All right, it is called S E A L, or you have a stamp, so you have a stamp or a S E A L. So the two of them work together because when you, you see a JP, them have the iron seal or them have the stamp. No, it's, it's the ember seal now. Okay, the what you have two different, you know, okay. you have the seal stamp, yes, which is ink, yes, where if water go pan it, it can rub out. Okay, but you see the embass one now, it's when you squeeze oh. it in. Well, that is the Jesus of Nazareth. Praise the, the Lord, they <laughs> the one that can't come out. 
<laughs> that one they can't come. They want they can't 4G that. That seal they can't 4G that. That's because Jesus it, of Nazareth. It, it Praise the Lord. That the is the kingdom part. seal. What are you saying name again? It is a, it's called an ember seal. Amen, that's a seal. That one is punched Amen. into the paper. What about prayer shall? Praise the Lord. Prayer shall. All these things are witchcraft, man. It is witchcraft. All of these things are it witchcraft. It is witchcraft. Prayer but shall. Make, listen, make let me answer. Let, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, um, explain to her. You see, what prayer shall does is to cover you according to them. All right, you should have no coverage except the coverage of Almighty God. Almighty and God. And you is cannot be coverage. coverage. You cannot be covered without the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Or yeah, yes, the covering God, that you're looking for, yeah. only Almighty God Himself yes, can offer that protection. Can offer that protection. All right? The piece of cloth will catch fire on your head and the burn you. The lies that they are telling us that you trap the anointing. How can you trap the presence of Almighty God in a piece of cloth? No, let us. No, 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 no. You're not even going to go that far. Let me let me take it to a link next far. If you're saying that you're going to trap someone, you're actually, um, what you call it now? The when word them, deceiving them. Yeah, deceive them, deceiving them. That's what it means. You you trap them in a them road, catch them in a them road. You're deceiving them. So what them said when the prayer shall know, they yeah, actually catch the you ke- no, you're trapping the anointing. That's a lie. You're trapping God in a them road. Yeah. Now first thing you need to understand, isn't it ironic that as soon as sin as sin creep in, we start to build religion? Yes. Notice yes. all along we were all right, you know. The and as will yes, man. Artifacts and all yes, man. The only Let us go to the Bible. Let that us go to the Bible. God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give us, and He said we must follow. He said, with the communion. Yes. When He said you do the wine and the bread. Yes. He said that is the only practice. Artifact. When He said, He said you must do this. Do this as often as, as possible, often as so possible. that you can. In other words, it's a it, memorial. It's a, mem- it's a memorial yes. of what. I and the reason why you. you do that memorial is because it was certified by Almighty God. Yes. That is the reason why you yes. do it. You don't do it because of anything. Yes. Keep the communion. All you can keep the communion by yourself. Praise you the Lord. You can do it by yourself. Of course. Sit down and take the communion. Oh, yes, by, by yourself. yourself. Amen. Yes. In commemoration. Yes. You remember in the birth of Christ. You remember Amen. what Christ did for us. It's a memorial. And that is the biblical principle. Yes. So that it, it's, it's the whole idea of us even doing that, you know, is to us never to forget where the it, sacrifice where coming from. Yes. that Christ made for us. Yes. So everything that is done in the Bible, it is there as a guide to us. Yes. But at the same time, we must adhere to it. Pay attention to yes. what God is saying. So the prayer shall know. Listen carefully. The prayer shall listen carefully. It said, and the eyes of them both reading from Genesis chapter um from Genesis chapter three verse seven. Alright? It said, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. How did they know that they were naked? Because first they were thing walking in disobedience. First thing you need to understand. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. How they know that they were naked? Because pride came in. Listen carefully. The first thing sin bring is pride. Because it don't want you to acknowledge to repent. Yes. So what it does, it bring pride. It puff you up. And so therefore, because of pride, you're shame fierce. You know, and, and another God. thing to one of the things that sin does still is take you from the presence of exactly. God. Exactly. Because you see, they recognize Adam and Eve when they sinned. They recognize that the presence of Almighty God was not with them anymore. That's why the Bible said they were naked. And they That's were what it trying mean. now to reconnect. That's how they... Sh- l- listen, listen. Talk and, l- talk and let me explain. That is how the prayer shall came in and the coverage. First it was called apron. They saw unto themselves apron. apron. So first it was called apron. Today it is called prayer shall. It, yes. Today it is called so preaching So when garlic. you put on a prayer shall over you, you are trying... To connect with to God. To forge a relationship with God. And only God alone can forge that relationship. You ever understand? If a relationship gone bad between you and your wife, who can correct it? Is it that you or your wife? You think your children can correct it? No. Then can't correct it. No. So the relationship go bad between you and God. Are you and God have to correct it? Mm-hmm. So the prayer shall cannot correct it. The prayer shall this is between you and your husband. This is lo- between you and God. the Lord is saying, Yes. If you want my presence, Yes. You spend time reading my word and talking to me. Exactly. You spend time in worship. 
You so, spend time reading the word. You spend time doing the will of Almighty God. So this is what it said now. You spend time. So the Lord is saying, listen, you want to please me. You're walking on the road. Mm -hmm. And you see one small, they are dead for hungry. Do not say, oh, they're going to take my money buy drugs. No. Bless them. And even if you believe that they are going to buy drugs, please to go inside their place, go buy the food. Go buy the them. food and care Let them take it that way. If you walk on the road and you see somebody, then close, tear up, tear up. And you can and afford. And you have a holy your closet. Yes. Go take out some out of your closet, go bless them. Exactly. Those are the things that, that God, God requires. requires and these are us. principle. If you see somebody has struggled for pay them bill and you know you can't help them pay it, help them pay it. Amen. Those are the things. If your brother grow your neighbor hungry and you know you have enough food in your house, go check out some out of your cupboard, go help them. That's what God is saying. Now, in doing these things, listen carefully, in doing these things, it's called investment. Yes. Because the Bible said, principle, biblical principle, God me giving to brother Simit, God me giving to sister Simit, God me giving to these poor people. Why? Because me lend to you. I you invest, go on again. I invest. You go on this again. is called biblical You're principle. in your time of prayer. Yes. Not just pray for yourself and no. your family alone. Pray for your co-worker them. Pray for your, 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 your neighbors. Pray for your community. Pray for your community. Yes. You're walking along the road and you see somebody has struggled. Whisper a word of prayer. God, remember this man. Lord, just say him things are right with him. But yes. I pray, God, that you will, he will open his heart to receive you before, before it is too late. So these are the kingdom principles that we need to be practicing. And this is one of the main reasons why Jesus said, at the, he give us a, a preview you know, of what is going to happen. You know, When he said, when he come, he said, and many will say, uh, you did not Have visit me in, in, when you was behind bar. And you're going to say, but you were in prison. He said, okay, the least you do unto these others, you do unto me. You did not feed me. You did not decide. Uh, remember, you know, uh, he might give us a preview of what is going to come. You know, all right, and he said, "Listen to me." But when did I saw you hungry? When did I saw you naked? When did I when you pass the people upon the road? Yes. The Bible tells us you can't say you love God and you not love the brother you see. Mm. That's Bible. You can't say you love God and who you see you no love. Yes. You know, listen to me. God is love governed by principle. Yes. He does not go by our emotion. He is governed by. He is principles. governed by principle, principles. and the principle is his word. Yes. The word of God yes. is his principle. The guideline. It not only guide mankind, it guide God. Because he can't change it. Mm -hmm. He cannot change him word. Change Amen. Him. So listen to me. If you keep if you believe in your heart, listen carefully. If you believe in your heart that you're living according to his word and things not going for you the way it should be going, your job now is to turn to him and say, Listen to me. Me believe saying that me at me I live here, you know. Show so me. where am I going Show wrong? What I am I doing wrong? wrong? This is Show no you can't question him. Yes. You can't question him. If I am living to the best of my ability and things are not changing, what am I doing wrong? Where is the, the, the loophole? Where, where is yes, yeah, you need yes. to ask him? Because how deep in your heart. Hold on, how do you pray for a dreadful enemy who wants you then no wants to, to befriend you? No, what you're saying, you know. Remember, the, and I think there's a scripture that speaks about blessing your enemy. Remember, you know, sister, you know, the Lord said, First when you thing, bless them, you know, remember, you propose of exactly, that is upon them head. Listen because to me. Because you need to ensure that you are not found wanting. Listen carefully. Because the Lord said, if you come in thy presence to give off a, a blessing unto him or to praise him, and if you know your brother have heart against you. Yes. The Lord said, Let me give at the altar and go make up back with the brother. But him, not say you must go hug up and show up, you know, because you have to use wisdom. Yes. You have to use godly wisdom. But you have to ensure that there's no bitterness in your heart. First thing we need to understand. The Lord said, Bless them that curse you. Lord, I pronounce a blessing upon my enemies in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, Almighty God, that you'll save them. Help them to change God. Help them that, 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 that they will walk in obedience before it is too late because you see what is happening in our sister and one of the things that i need we need to recognize that even though we know that these persons are our enemies the lord never say if you hate them no because you have to protect yourself because the, even the very the lord's prayer said forgive those that trespass against us 
Because if we do not do that, God can't forgive you. In other words, listen carefully. Listen carefully. The principle of God is very simple. Do unto others as you would like others If do you want righteousness, you. so see right? of righteousness. That's what the Bible said. This is it. Whatever if you desire you, for yourself, do it to others. If you desire somebody, in other words, the Bible tells us. This is what the Bible said. If you want friend, be a friend to somebody. The first thing you need to do is to show yourself friendly. friendly. That's be what the Bible said. I was listen to me. I I was I screech, no? I screech. What what the person what they describe as game? Um when the person when he ate Christmas, what they call it? Oh a scrooge. Scrooge. I was <laughs> a scrooge. You remember when they just meet me? Alright, nobody nobody remember. No, nobody remember. Nobody remember. Guys, if you remember you're gonna leave. Nobody remember. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was disgusting. Believe me, I was disgusting. Praise the Lord. But the reason why, listen carefully, I had the I, I give God the permission. I said, God, presently, right now, I am disgusted. I you know the funny thing about But this, I want to change. I'm not making an excuse for you. But one of the things that I have learned, the more I know you and the more I learn of your background, I discovered why I was so mean. No, you were just being defensive. Okay. Because I recognize when you, and that is why, you know, people, we have to be careful what we do to our children. Yes. Because when we do things to our children, when we abuse them, we only make it harder for them when they are adults. But because of what happened to you in your life, in your past life. Oh, oh, just a second before this going. The person is asking me to send me the prayer of how we pray. Um, the both of you pray. Okay, this can be done. Amen. The number is 337 6685. 337 6685. Era code is Jamaica era code 1876 337 6685. Give me a, a, a text on Facebook, um, um, WhatsApp, and I'll send you the number. All right. All right? What we're saying you now. What I'm saying yes. is that we have to be very careful of the things that we speak into the lives of our children and the things that we do to them. Because, you see, when you abuse children, we not only create difficulty for them later on, no. but we also destroy their lives. And the future lives. And the future lives. Yes. Yeah, but you hear the question, the, 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 the statement that says abu um, abusers become abusers themselves. Abuse become abusers themselves. Yes. So it's the same. So I, I'm learning to understand you and why you would build this protection because you are protecting yourself. My sanity. Your sanity. Yeah. And that is why, you know, it sometimes, if it wasn't for the grace of God, <laughs> Don't make the nose I'm so disgusting. <laughs> Don't make the nose I was so disgusting. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But, Amen. Amen. But, but I wanted to change. But yes, I wanted to but change. I recognize yes. and I realize because I too had gone through abuse myself. Amen. Amen. And for years I never know how to show love me to my own children. Yes. You understand? But at the end of the day, it was because of God, it was the Lord who taught me how to love. Amen. Almighty God Himself, He taught me how to love. Amen. Because I had built. Hallelujah. Even mm. after the failure of my marriage. Just a I, second, just a second. Yeah. His blood will carry me. I felt the rem shift a while ago. Oh, We're under spiritual attack right now. Hallelujah. His blood will carry me. God, you're God. Oh, we need to close the His blood will carry me. Yes, Father. All the way. When I survey the old rugged cross, I hope he redeemed. Yes, that Father. which was lost, his blood will carry me all the way. 
just a second. Now, the reason why I pause for this time out is because I want you to understand that we are now under spiritual attack. The reason why we are under spiritual attack is because the enemy realized that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And the enemy realized that we are learning our spiritual right. Mm -hmm. So he's coming in for the kill. Praise the Lord. But I want you to understand, you are going to make a declaration. Mm -hmm. Even though I am going to repeat the declaration, yes. you are going to be the one now to follow. Praise the Lord. Because when you follow, you're actually making the declaration yourself. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, what I want you to do is very simple. Very simple. Follow these instructions. I'm going to pray right now. And I want you to follow these instructions. Go ahead, All right? go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Eternal God. Eternal God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come in your presence right now. I come in your presence right now. And I give you everything. And I give you everything. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ in of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am your Nazareth. servant God. I am your servant God. And as your servant. And as your servant. I stand in your presence. I stand in your presence. And while I am in your presence. And while I am in your presence. The Lord, devil want to show up. The devil wants to show the accuser up. of my soul. The accuser of my soul. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But in the name of Jesus Christ of I Nazareth. I come against him right now. I come against him right now. Satan. Satan. You have no power over me. You have no power over anymore. me. Anymore. Anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of Jesus I Christ come Christ. against you. I come against you. And I rebuke you from my home. And I rebuke you from my home. I rebuke you from my life. I rebuke you from my in life. In the name of Jesus Christ of in Nazareth. In the name of Jesus I Christ. I stand against you right now. I stand against you Knowing right my principle. Knowing my. Knowing the principle. Knowing the principle. Of Almighty God. Of Almighty God. And knowing. And knowing my. Just as. Oh, Jesus would declare. Knowing my constitutional right. Knowing my constitutional right. Yes. Praise the Lord. And just as Jesus declared. It is, it is written in the constitution of heaven in the constitution of heaven that man shall not live by bread alone, by bread alone but by every word by every that word proceeded out of the mouth of god so i stand in the presence of god right now and i declare that i am the vessel of the living god and you have no authority over me anymore in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen, amen. All right, Sister Andrea, let me just um, share something with you. We're not saying that you're going to go lie down in a bed and hug up. Excuse me, expression. Meaning we're not going to chummy, 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 chummy. Come, come. Because you have to use yeah. wisdom, right? But you have to protect your soul. Yes. You have to forget. Meaning the Lord is saying, forgive. Yes. Let it go. But he's also saying, you know, because what he's saying, it is in Matthew 5, verse 54. He said, but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. At the word of God, you know. Luke 6 verse 28 said, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. At the word of God. Yes. Matthew 7 verse 12. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want to treat you want them to treat you for this is the law of the prophets yes first john 4 verse 7 said beloved let us love one another for love is from god and everyone who loves is born of god and knows god so the lord is saying listen yes him give us the wisdom to protect us you know, say somebody no meaning no good. I mean, I expect you to go sit down and go have lunch with them. But the Lord is saying, but you need to protect your spirit man. So if the person is, you see the person in need, go help them. Give to them. Yes, sit here. You're hungry? See some lunch here. You want you want a bus here? Sit here. But that means I'm going to come to your house and sit down and have tea. Because I have to stay clear of you. Because two can't walk unless they agree. But I'm not going to have any animosity in my heart against you. That's what the Lord is saying. 
because if you do not let go you're going to tie up yourself you're going to tie up your blessing you're going to tie up yourself being forgiven that's what the Lord is saying in order for you to be freed set free you need to let go and if you can't do it Lord help me to let go of the bitterness again so and so and so and so and so Lord help me to love them but that not mean say I go sit down and have tea with them. It's just I'm saying, God, let me help me to let go. Let me say when I come before you, me not supposed to have no no unforgiveness in my heart against anybody who hurt me. That's what the Lord is saying. One thing we need to understand is that God is a reflection. Yes. What do I mean by this? God, if you want to find out who God is, go and stand up in front of your mirror. Yes. If you want to know who God is. Go and stand up. Your mirror have no complexion, you know, it no, have no shape, no shape. Yes. You listen, your mirror can't be round, flat, or anything. Yes. But God is a reflection of your mirror. You yes. see, anything you go in front of God with, I will have reflected yes. back to you. That is why He said, Come to me pure. Yes. Because if you go to God with a heavy heart, He is only a rewarder. Yes. Galatians chapter 6, yes. verse 7. And He's going to reward what is in your heart. Yes. And so we have so much witchcraft in the church yes. now. Because some people are pray and the heart against each other is bitter. bitter. All right. And because of that, the spirit of witchcraft now thrive. Exactly. Because in God you have good and in him God you yes. have bad. So when you go before him with your good heart, you get good. And if you you remember we used to read the wishing well? Then yes man, we have a book here called the wishing well. You're wishing well when you go there, you say, please you get it. And when you when you write off and those things, it just stick you back. <laughs> No, we used to read that book. He was yeah, a teacher about so. the wishing well. So. Yeah, man. So God is described in many ways. He described as the wishing well. He described as this. He's describing that. But the point I want to point out is God is a rewarder, and what He sees in your heart is that He reflects. Let me go on. Romans twelve, verse fourteen to twenty-one, and it says, "Bless those who persecute you." Yes. And the word I got is near. It said, "Bless and do not curse." But rejoice. With those but who I will haste hello I will I, I will haste I will weep. I will haste to declare listen carefully but I will haste to declare let me give me you go on let me find Bible now <laughs> let me find Bible now yeah, no man you don't know bother find out when you there find me never ask no, you where you're gonna go back <laughs> no we're not to going David. to David we're gonna go Remember, listen 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 David listen. was doing the time what I say no. a while ago okay and stop right. being a hypocrite and, and, I and am talk. not being a hypocrite <laughs> I am just saying the <laughs> praise right the thing. Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said. Read man. Go on talk. Go on talk. No, because I am waiting in it with bated breath. With what you're gonna come up with. No, no, according to the scripture. Listen carefully. Yeah. Listen to the scripture. Listen to the scripture. Alright? The scripture said, the sister asks, um, the sister asks. Who wants to be dead? Okay. First thing you need to understand, listen carefully. Listen carefully. The aim is the aim is to ensure that you and God have a good relationship. That is the aim. So you don't have up the individual okay. in your heart. I, I, okay. Hold on. I, I, um. You're not that's no. why you see me that read before. No, there was something I wanted to see it again. The one with the sister, right? Yes. Okay. About um, the enemy. No, the no the sister is actually saying that um what the, what um the enemy somebody is trying to destroy her and what's yes, what's yes, what's yes. and so oh you but what I want people to understand is very simple just as though we pray about the word of God to him principle we pray about the word of God to him we also need to pray about the word of God to him you said vengeance is yours however. I need you to vindicate me. And so whatsoever that the individual have in their heart against me, then let it be their own demise because this is what they have against me. All right? That's biblical principle. That can't change. Now, you're not going to tell God to do this and to do that because you can't tell God to do that. But you're reminding him of his word. Now, God is the one who decides what happened. To that, to that individual because you said vengeance Amen. is because his. you said vengeance is his. I will and repay. I will you repay. Know. So that's how you pray. All right. Now, according to the and if it's a case where I want justice, then if you want justice, you're not going to the case. Protect and defend and give me justice. Well, what you need to understand. And he said, be a friend unto my friend, 
and an adversary to my adversary. Exactly. I saw me pray sometime in the Lord. Then they see him. I see him biblical scripture. And an adversary to my adversary. Exactly. So what you're actually saying? What you're actually saying? Give to those who are anything you see in them art, reflect it back to them. That's yeah. what actually what you're saying. Amen. No, I was a little bit blunt last week. I said if they want me, they'll kill him. Well, uh, well, that's what my wife that was have. a bit blunt. Well, that's what she have a problem with last week. Yeah. But it's the same principle. All right, whatsoever is in your heart against me, I pray that the Lord will reward you. The reason for this is very simple. Let us go to back to biblical scripture. All right, Amon Bila Gallas. Listen carefully, Amon Bila Gallas for. Mordecai and the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Esther realized what was going on. And when Esther realized what was going on, she went in, the biblical principle, she went in and she did a fast. That's why they call it the Esther, Esther fast. fast. All right? So what because upon the, now... The, the decree had passed that they were going to destroy no, her people. No, the decree passed that they, her people should be destroyed. Now, yes. listen, biblical principle. Once a decree is passed, it cannot be reversed. It cannot be reversed. Because once it reverses, it means that it is no the king is not um count um credible because anymore. And, and if you notice Amen. how that decree was passed, you know. The decree that passed the king was saying that nobody should not worship nobody but him. Yes. And because the children of Israel were worshipping Almighty God, yes. Haman went to the king and said, King, didn't you not decree? Yes. That anybody who does not do X, Y, and Z mm -hmm. should be whatever. Yes. And he said yes. But, but notice what happened. Notice what happened. The decree was went. Uh, the decree went out. Now the decree, when the king realized what was going on and that he was in trouble, the decree. Listen, the king couldn't change the decree now. No. So what God had to do now? Listen carefully. What God had to do now is that he used he, uh, Mordecai to send out another decree. Now, when he sent out another decree, the decree is that the Jews should now harm themselves. So Amon said, kill off all the Jews. Now the decree, the next second decree is that the who Jews harm themselves. In other words, Satan is saying, kill off all the Christians. And Jesus of Nazareth is saying, harm yourself with the spiritual. You see where I'm heading now? The no, I am kind of losing. Right okay, now. fine. First thing, that's why the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians, put on therefore, therefore what? The old armor of God. Praise the Lord. So that you can now defend yourself. The armor of God. So they can make a decree to kill us off. Now, God himself said, listen to me, because you make a decree to kill them off, the accusation to kill them off, I now put up a decree so that they can now defend themselves. You defend yourself by praying. Hallelujah praying and so what you do is pray back the word just like how my wife would have demonstrated you pray back psalms 91 to him amen using the name of jesus christ of yes. somebody send me a friend request should i take it you can but it's not the time now because we're about to break okay if so person to, if you need to speak if it's okay no 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 a person want to talk to me i want to hear what the person say can i Okay, I. And we're supposed to be closing. Now. We're going to close, but that no mean to say we can't accept what the person is saying. I want to hear. This is a classroom, and so if it is a classroom, we want to hear what the person so is saying. Well, the person is asking. If it is all a right, classroom, right, hello. Ahead. If it is a classroom, the person is asking a question. Go ahead with your question. Good afternoon to you from Kingston, Jamaica. Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes, my brother. Go, you, you're, good afternoon from Kingston, Jamaica. Are you there? Okay, so the, the person, I think it's somewhat... Can you hear me? I'm hearing you now. Go ahead. I don't know what I'm hearing. What you're hearing is the truth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> to God be the glory, my brother. Yes. Okay. I'm hearing a, 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 a union. I'm oh, both of you guys. And I'm watching you from morning. Oh, ah, to God. God. I'm interested in what you're saying. Yes, to Amen. God we are Amen. Amen. We are Amen. just no, doing his will. I'm now going through a rough time myself. And I tell you, I do even go to church this morning because I'm listening to you guys. Wow. My God. You see? My brother is be made about. Go ahead. I wish you have a great ministry. 
and I'll continue to listen to you guys. To God be the Lord. This is really a blessing. Yes, Amen. Thank you. So, to God be all the glory. To God thank be all the thank glory. You for the word of now, what I want you to do now is very simple. All right, you're gonna repeat after me. All right. Now, just like a father, you said, "Dada, Papa." Now, what I'm actually doing is show you how spiritual warfare is done. Do you understand me? Yes. So this is between you and Almighty God. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with me. The Bible said that when you come to God in the book of um, Leviticus chapter 1 verse 3, it must be done voluntarily. Our job is to show you how spiritual warfare is done. That's it. Nothing else. So this is between you and Almighty God. Alright? So I show you how it has been done. Alright? So repeat after me. Eternal God. God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, your full name. Listen carefully. In your in your heart, in your mind. You don't have to say your full name on ear. I, your full name. Come in your presence right now. Come in your presence right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you know my situation. That I'm going through. That I'm going through. But I speak to my situation right now. But I speak to my situation right In the now. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have no power over me. You have no power over me. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. You will not kill me. You will not kill me. Physically. Nor spiritually, nor spiritually, emotionally, emotionally, nor mentally, nor mentally, nor financially, nor financially. You will not kill me. You will not kill because me. I declare right now. Because I declare right now. I am the head. I am the head. And not the tail. And not the tail. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. And I am above and not beneath. And I am above and not beneath. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak to the situation right now. I speak to the situation right now. Based upon Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. I take authority over you right now. I, I take authority right now. Because Jesus of Nazareth declare. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth declare. He had given me the power. He had me the power. Over the fish. Over the fish. Which is the marine kingdom. He had given me power over the fall of the hair. He had given me power over the fall. Which is Satan and the fallen angels. Which is Satan and the fallen angels. So I speak to the underworld right now. Oh, I speak to the underworld right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I break every curses that you have released over my life. And I break every curses that you release over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of and Nazareth. And I send it back to the pit of hell. And I send it back to the pit of hell. Unto the point of no return. Unto the point of no return. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. That's all you pray, my brother. Once you know your constitutional right, then the devil have to leave. All right, he will That's change his tragedy, he will change his tragedy, but it is the same procedure. Tell him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason for this is very simple these spirits that are attacking you, they are very religious and they are called Jesus and Jesus and Christ. Also, what you need to do, my brother, the situation that you're faced with, whatever changes you want in your life, speak it into being. You speak it into being. So you find the scripture of what you're going through and you tell it to God. 
when words say yes and you go back again and what you want in your life now you find those scriptures and you tell God and you say God your word says X Y and Z so the principle is what was written there by Satan you erase it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and now you rewrite it just what as the principle exactly this is the same principle that happened yeah. when Jesus took down he was re he was actually erasing the past of Mary Magdalene you need to get up now no, excuse me no no, no no I don't want you to end the live now please a... no if you're getting up get up yeah. please do not I don't want to end the live now <laughs> <laughs> please, <laughs> praise, praise the Lord. Yes, if you get nausea, please do not end the light. All right. So what I want people to understand, listen carefully. Principle of the Bible. Once you know your constitutional right, then it is that you have to follow the principle of the Bible. Once you're following, just like when you dip on the road, if you follow the road code, police can't stop you. you know? Listen to me. He can't stop you because you're following the road code. You can only be stopped when you when he believes that you break the law or yes. you're under suspicion. Amen. But as long as you living according to the will of God, devil can have no power over you. Amen. The power is all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power is all in the... It will, listen carefully. It will not get better overnight. Mm -hmm. And a lot of persons is praying and said, Oh, me not getting deliverance. Of course you're getting deliverance. Because you're not where you were before. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Some of us left too far in the pit of hell, you know. So because we're coming out now, we look like nothing has happened. But I can guarantee you, if you look into where you're coming from, then to and know... also, what you need, yes. to, what you also need to remember is that everything that you go through is a process and the, you might want to see changes now yes but then the lord is saying listen you have to go through this and that yes in order for you to attain this yes it may seems long but the word of God said uh, 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 a, a thousand years thousand in years his presence in is, his like pres is like last night, like, yesterday. Like a one day. Yes, and I, I, it, it may seem long to us because we live in time but and space. But he is going yes. to come through for you at the right time because sometimes, you know, God can't give away what we want, no, you know, because it, it will destroy us. It will destroy us. It will us. destroy us. So little by little. So he has to prepare us yes. and gradually guide you into it. You glide you into it. So when you reach to that level, then now you can stand up because whether you want to believe it or not, the higher you go, and the higher the devil you go deal with up there. Because there are different tiers of demons that you have to deal with. And each level you have to overcome. When you overcome, you have to, so you go up higher. So by the time you reach up there, you are strong, you are able to fight. But if him just take you from point A and bloom and put you up at point B, you're going to crumble up there because there's no foundation there for you to be able to stand up st strong. Because you'll be that of a babe. In care, you cannot give a baby a loaded gun, he's going to kill himself and others around him. That's what the Lord is saying. So he has to put you through a process. And the process sometimes is very, very painful. I'm telling you, it's painful because there are many times I cry, many tears. There are many points I've reached to the point where I say, God. Okay, so God. in the book of um, Exodus chapter 23, verse mm. 30, 30, what is it? Yeah. Little by little, I will drive them out from. So the little by little, I will drive out. Increase listen, and inherit the land. When you grow, increase mean when you grow up. Yes. You will act just like a little child. You yes. you earn your, your your work and have your riches. You don't give to a child no. because the child is gonna take disadvantage of it. it away. Yes, because they didn't away. notice. I, I I went through some neighborhood today. Um, day that day. And when I look in, you see some people get some inherited house. You can know the inherited house, you know. Yeah. The inherited house they run down. Look, you see those who, who build up on the house. I feel nice. them dream that, you know. Feel them dream that, you know. But you have some individual who don't respect inheritance. Yes. And so the children of them dream, they make it run down. Ah. Praise the Lord. So that is why God is saying, little by little, when you grow, the more you grow, you grow into your 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 your, your purpose, your purpose. Yes. and then and that is why i tell people when somebody um make listen carefully i tell people all the while listen carefully 
You see the church, the church have it wrong. The church wait till you, according to them, they have to wait two, three, four months before they can anoint you. Notice what God do. God anoint David in his in folly. Yeah, God anoint him when he was a youngster. He, he, so why? Young so that David child. can now grow, grow into, into, make all the mistakes when I make. Yes. I'm growing in and anointing. Him in how anointing. are you going to know about God if you don't allow God to yes. excel? How can ch children know money management if you don't teach them? You have to teach them. Oh, good to see Hi, Kerry. So good to Prophet see you. Prophet Kerry, good well. afternoon to you. Glad Amen. that you could have Praise joined Lord. us. Amen. Praise yes. the Lord. And so, um, that you, what you need to do, my brother, and if it is that you want to speak to me after the ear, I think you should the speak number, to him after. Yeah, man, we're going to talk to him after, but I, I just need to lock down that yeah. spirit. That's why I, I, I love that. But the number is 337 six six eight five anyone who want to talk to me you don't have to have any form of um appointment you just call amen three three seven six six eight five and it mean whether it be night or day as long as i'm up i will answer you all right and i don't have a secretary all right <laughs> praise the lord so the you get me the amen. phone is gonna be dead lord, now praise the, the lord <laughs> praise the lord down. the phone is going to die praise the lord the gadget is going down so we are gonna go now but before we go we're gonna take one more call so my brother god rich is blessing upon you all right. You can't yeah, take it. No, sir. Thank you very much. Amen. All right. We're going we're going to accept the one. So we have fifteen minutes. It said the phone said have fifteen minutes. But fifteen I, seconds. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen fifteen. Uh, never okay. mind. All right. I'll so you. yeah, man. All right. So what I'm going to do is accept this individual. The phone said we have fifteen seconds. Um fifteen um so um to God be the glory. Um welcome from Kingston, Jamaica. Praise the Lord. Welcome, my brother. Good afternoon to you, my brother. You need to speak to him on yes. air. My so brother, what I can do is speak to you off the ear. Yes. If you wish to speak on ear, fine. We don't have a problem, but we would rather speak off the ear we where you're concerned. You right. Once it's a personal matter? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is give you this number. Write down this number. 337 6685 Okay, so we'll speak to you. Yes, so we'll talk to you. Listen carefully. Our job is to share with you how to do spiritual warfare, how to defend yourself and your family. So listen carefully. Principle applies to the realm of the spirit. And once you know the road code, you can now drive on the so road. That is it. So God which is blessing. The gadgets are about to go down. Amen. So before the gadgets go down, we're going to cover everyone in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cover the platforms right now. You know each and every one on the ear. And so, Father, I speak into their life right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every spirit that is called Jesus. We come against every religious spirit that is called Jesus Christ. And we shut them down right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are God all by yourself. And you need no help in being God in the mighty name of of Jesus and Christ. So Father, of we Nazareth. pray that the blessings of Almighty God will overshadow them, Lord, and their families, even now, in this coming week, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Love amen. your family. Love your family. Yes. God uh, bless uh, you, my family. This is Brother Roach, Pastor yes. Roach. Big up yourself, Pastor Roach. Blessing yes. upon you and your beautiful yes. wife, Sister blessings Roach. Blessings always and God richest blessing to Amen. you. So the gadget is now out. We <laughs> praise are. the Lord. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. See you again, again. Yes. See you again, family, next week. Hey, praise the Lord. And when you come in, invite somebody to the family reunion. Yeah, share. Praise the Lord. <laughs> share. And remember, knowledge make one more and powerful. And when we upload on YouTube, please go and subscribe yes. to our YouTube so that channel. We can, yes, so that it's we can. Chosen few ministries. It, spare more once you look for spare more leasing. Yes. Amen. Because the reason for this is that we're on Facebook now teaching. We are on Twitter, Twitter, um, TikTok, and we, we want to, it to yes, yes, and we want to we go want to go live on on, um, on YouTube. YouTube, amen. Yes. So we 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 earn your sup we yeah, earn your yes, support on that. Yes. So God richest blessing upon you and your family in the mighty in name, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone. God.